All right. Well, um, I will do a nice little, nice little slow roll intro. But uh, then we're kicking right over to you, lads, as is tradition for a Mr. Joel's campaign, in which you all are going to introduce your characters basically as you all sit down to make your your blood oaths to carrying out the uh, London calling. <laughs> as he called it uh and remember we don't know what exactly that job is just understand it's big and you guys are going all in on it you're you're sick of whatever situation you're in and you're, you're going for it yeah you could say yeah. it's going to be one hell of a clash oh please, no, please stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> right katie right <laughs> hey katie how you doing um <laughs> We've got a, 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 a we got a, a Londonite expatriate came over here, uh, moved into town a couple of years ago, and set up a pasty shop here. <laughs> <laughs> they are lovely. They are quite lovely. Uh, I would Renee, Renee and I buy them all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, we are starting uh, current year uh, for red markets. That is seven years post crash. Uh, the point at which the blight was unleashed upon uh, the global scene and ran rampant through every developed country, every country with any sort of uh, uh, immigration status or you know influx of uh, people moving. Uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, while Parliament uh, was quite uh, quite ham-fisted in their handling of it, uh, the Queen, did manage to get enough good senses to withdraw as much of, uh, of of government leadership as was necessary to the north into Scotland, where uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh were uh, reforged into their traditional uh, their, their their ancient roles uh, as the border, um, where upon the elements of the royal military were able to establish a firm uh, hold fast. A sort of uh, contemporary Hadrian's Wall, if you will, and uh, swept the swept to the north to the sea and cleansed out every last remaining ounce of blight they could. And as the years developed, followed in line with their uh, their cousins to the west uh, and established the bounty system similar to what the United States is running. Uh, which means that every British citizen is officially declared dead. Um, and thus, any proof of that death uh, will net a value uh, for goods and services, which is referred to as a bounty. Um, so that, <laughs> yes, like, very much so. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, everyone who is unfortunate to be trapped to the south, that is the name of the game, uh, as it were. So we will pick up inside of the center section of York, York Clifton, uh, which is now referred to uh, by the enclave name of Stonehaven. Uh, we zoom in upon a quaint English pub on the outskirts, um, but what most, especially most foreigners would think of uh, as far as, uh, you know, what a good British pub looks like. However, uh, upon entry through the front doors, you will find uh, uh, quite eccentric and lovely wood furnished bar covered with uh, the stuffed heads of, of big game. And we uh, we zoom in to a back table where uh, a large burly man carrying a, a quite unusual weapon, uh, an M249 saw moves in and sits down to await uh, to await the men that he has sought out to pull off the uh, well, Hopefully, what will be the last score of his entire life? So but not we'll as spy god. He's, but not <laughs> as he's found. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll pick up a spy god. So yeah, so um, Sterling, as I said, big guy, um, sits himself down at a table, looking around, like just quickly eyeing up everybody, just like looking for people, like just seeing like who looks like they know what they're doing, and. He spots someone that looks like a bit tough and ready, a bit hard, um, and walks up to him. 
And he goes, are you looking for work? And that's it, Ronnie Fister. Uh, yep, yeah, I heard this is the uh, the place to be. Um, yeah, I'm Ronnie Fister. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty lean. Former, uh, former bare knuckle boxer in the uh, in the around the area of York. Um, and yeah, looking. Don't, yeah. I, I don't really don't really take any shit from anyone. Yeah, just looking for looking for um, wow. for a dollar. That's good to hear, man. Um, I need people like you. There's a lot that can be done. There's a lot. This great land, like, yeah, the blight is here, but it, it it can we can get back to like a society. We can get things to do, and I think you are the man to do the job. Like, I can guarantee you bounty if you work with me. Keep a, keep me safe. How are you feeling? Yeah, you yeah there's, there's there's not many jobs I won't say no to. Um, <laughs> as long as the pay is right, I am okay. <laughs> right. Well, uh, obviously. I'm going to need a crew. Do you, do you spot anybody else around here that could be <laughs> could be useful? Like, and I said, you're more of a hard man than I am. So I don't know if you <laughs> notice. Um, uh, I look around uh, and lay eyes on Mister Walker. Uh, yeah, you me. see, uh, you see a hearty. Um, I mean. Only a few years ago, you would expect him to be more of a you know overweight nerd than any than anything else, given by the dress and the armor. But over the last few years, men like him have uh, quickly come up to be uh, quite valuable people, uh, dressed in the regalia of plate steel and uh, and and hardened iron. Uh, of course, the uh, the missing arm, the robotic arm, uh, you know, silently twitching and whirring, you know, uh, does indicate he's definitely seen a few scraps in his day. What about him? What do you think about that guy? He seems like he knows what he's doing. The lack of an arm kind of shows that he's been in in a fair few scraps, you know. Uh, can't imagine how he lost that. So, uh, yeah, he looks like he could be uh, could be handy. No pun intended. Okay, <laughs> so Sterling walks over to Walker. Hey, you looking for work, man? Of course, always. Always? Anything Perfect. to get some bounty in this world? I'm trying to trying to get a crew together. We like help the world, save us from blight, make some bounty on the end. Does that sound your gig? It does indeed. What direction are you going, sir? Um, at the moment we're just trying to like do a few jobs around the area, get some get some bounty together, get some gear. Because I've got a plan. You've got a plan? Yeah. I would like to hear more of this plan. Well, uh, maybe when we we get some camaraderie together, like I've just met you, and it's a bit of a, a who bit else of an have out. you got? When, what is your name? I am Sterling. Nice to meet you. In Shakespeare. Sterling, I am Abyss Walker. Nice to meet you, Walker. Um, I've got Abyss Walker, please. Okay, Abyss Walker. I apologise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ass. Um, I've got Ronnie Fister here at Lutz. Boxer, he seems to be able to take care of himself. So yeah, so if you're joining, that's the three of us. Probably just you have one seen or... my arm. Yes, I, that's why I came over and we, like we, we, you, you <laughs> seem to have the experience. <laughs> we needed some experience. <laughs> right. need some well, you well, as you mentioned, experience a uh, an extremely weather beaten and worn down looking individual steps into the bar. Um, he actually has a, uh, uh, a, a pseudo trident, uh, slung across his shoulder. And, uh, is that a net? <laughs> he has <laughs> slung in a bandolier on his back. Uh, see, yeah, that's a weighted net with... to you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks hard though. Uh, his eyes have had that look of someone who's seen way too much, even for those uh, those who managed to survive the crash seven years ago. He looks far and gone past that. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you out here, man? Uh, just follow the money, do whatever for yeah. money, literally anything. No, wait, only morally gray to white things. <laughs> Okay, great. Are you free? Because I'm trying to make a crew, Just and I've got that me. man here, and I'm pointing over at Abyss Walker, and I've got um, Ronnie Fister here. Um, we're, we're about to make a crew, like make some money, 
fight yeah, flight, we, you know how it is. Are we working around here? Are we going to be making headway somewhere? Um, I think, like, just making bounty around here, it's local, like, we're not going to be traveling anywhere too far. Could we get out of here at some point? I could do with getting out of here a little bit, just a bit of distance. He's good, good for the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine. I, I can't see any reason why we can't, like, go a bit farther away and a bit yeah, out. just get out of, like, get out of here. Just out of, just a hundred miles away somewhere. At least that's quite a distance. I know we can use the canals. We might have to bring up some bounty to like convince them to ship us somewhere. Great, because great. I'm um, I'm on it. Cool. Uh, welcome to the team. I guess shakes his hand. Who are these guys? Oh. Can you? Can your? Can your? Can your hand shake, <laughs> Mister Suki? <Sushi Man? laughs> which arm did? Course. Which arm are you missing there, Abyss Walker? Uh, the, that would be the left one. The left arm. Oh. It was my good arm, but unfortunately, I've had to retrain myself to use the right. <laughs> I'm just not going to shake anyone's hand. This is too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really complicated. Hi guys. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, you all sit and uh, over uh, over the over the coming hours and. Uh, quite a few pints you all rack up a little bit of a little bit a little bit of a tab but uh but sterling sterling covers you all um and yeah you all have have, have made your decision um he uh he keeps mentioning something called london calling and says it'll change all your lives he won't quite tell you what it is yet but uh there's something in London's the man's calling. eyes That's you great. won't even you all believe him. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, this is his first game session. We won't do vignettes um, quite yet. And there's there's not too much of a need. You guys don't need to heal your mental health. So, we will just roll right into job hunting. So, who... Oh, you have two jobs available. Three pieces of information per job. Who would like to try and go figure it out first? Um... Spygon, I assume you're a hustler, yeah? Damn straight. Or I assume you want to keep your play till the end if it's ne if it's necessary? Yes. Okay. I'll be our... I'll I'll be. All right. I miss, I miss being a hustler. Yeah, I remember watching... Q All right, you like three, don't be shy. You guys know the drill? Who wants to go first? I, I, I forget how it works. <laughs> uh, you, you tell me what piece of information you want from job one or two, and then you roll networking, unless you can sell me on a different type of role. Uh, and we'll see if you can get that piece of info. Right. Okay. I mean, I, I would like to find the, find out how much bounty job number one would get us. All right. Give me a networking check. Uh, that's a six, six critical uh, success. Yes. yes. Nat crit, nat crit yeah. to start. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll give you That's the strong. price and I'll give you another piece of information on that job. What would what else would you like to know about it? Oh god. Uh do we have any competition? All right. Can I find that out? Uh so job one. Uh you're being it is uh, as you're sitting around the bar, you you, hear, you see a couple of ladies um at the far side of the bar with um uh white girl white girl dreadlocks. <laughs> Um, as they are. Uh, also, similarly adorned to you, more chainmail and leather than uh, your plate steel. But uh, you can hear them uh, nattering back and forth at each other, just, oh, yeah, the big man, he's going to pay. Uh, I think uh, I think Erlen says we should do it. So I think we're going to do it. But uh, yeah, he's paying black four, red nine. So 13 bounty. It's a good start. It's a good start to the day. Erelin? Oh my god, is it the Rohirrim? <laughs> <laughs> we can't compete with the Rohirrim, lads. <laughs> uh, so yeah, your competition are the Valkyries right, for job one, and uh, the job is paying black four, red nine. So 13 bounty uh, at full chat. Not bad. Slightly above average pay. So not bad at all. Yeah. I'm not weak of a knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some, some, some networking ability. Okay. What do you want to know? I think I, I, I. How am I going to use that networking ability? Is it just to get in touch with like a contact, or can I just scour the internet? Yeah, I mean, literally, it can be anything, any and above. Like, yeah, it's just literally to get you that information. So, 
Uh, you know what the price and the competition for job one is. You don't know what the job is, uh, and you know nothing about job two. I am very money orientated. <laughs> okay. I want to know the price of the second job, please. All right, give me a networking check then, please. I've got to actually roll a more bloody hustler. <laughs> no, I don't just get an automatic win. Uh, oh. No. Oh, that's not how this works, Jim. <laughs> Two over eight. I fail. Two, <laughs> all right. Also, if you've run uh, a crit uh, fail already. Like. No, I didn't crit fail, but normally, normally my first roll is a crit fail. So. Uh, so, Jim, you could burn a reference if you wanted to to get the information, um, which just means you'll owe a bounty to, to somebody. Oh, God. Um, can I owe a bounty to, I guess? Yeah, Come up with a name for for who your reference would be. Who would you contact to try and get you to try and? Who, who do you, you sell job? immune? Who do you sell immune to? I, I <laughs> have some sort of immune. I <laughs> got immune uh, vendor. Uh, an immune vendor. <laughs> the, the, the 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 black black market. <laughs> <laughs> um. The first thing that came to mind is not appropriate, so I'm not going to. I'm Please not don't. helping you. With that, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Let's keep. Uh, let's just let's just call them. Uh, let's just call them New Day. So yeah, New Day. Okay. You call up New Day. He's like, uh, "Hi, mate. Whoa. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm surviving. Um, I need some help. It's hard when you get out of the life, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard." <laughs> Don't miss it though. What do I? Fair enough. <laughs> what can I do for you? What do I? I need some information. I'm uh -huh. with a with a group of takers. Uh, oh, right. Come, right. I need to find out how much a job's paying in Stonehaven. Ah, oh, you uh, you want about the uh, you want about that uh, that busy work job? Yeah, yeah, I heard about yes. it. Um, yeah, I hear uh. Yeah, that lad's really, uh, really needs somebody. He's, uh, he's, he's offering black tin, red nine on that one. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is very helpful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, don't forget me now, though. <laughs> I'll obviously return the favor. All, all right, that, all right. That part of things. <laughs> <laughs> you take it easy. Uh, so yeah. Uh, 19 bounty for this job. I, I rolled really well for you guys. Both, yeah, both, both like the jobs now, over. Solid. Yeah, both the jobs are over over the 50 percent mark. So, uh, Mr. Fista. Oh, hello there. Uh, what information would you like to know? You still don't know what job one is or what job two is, and you don't know who's going to be trying to cut you off for that uh, that 19 bounty on job two. I'm definitely wanting to find out what this busy work is for job two. Um, can I use stealth to kind of eavesdrop people is that a is that a thing i can do just like you know loiter around places uh what, what were you saying you were wanting for that one sorry uh stealth no 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 oh, but, oh, what, what, uh, what, the what job to you? the busy work what uh, about what, what it is you want to know what it is Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll allow. I'll allow. I'll allow that. Cool. that Spike yeah, on yeah. special. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sneak around. Turn into a plant. plant. <laughs> um, or, or, or pretend to be one of the heads on the wall. <laughs> 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 All right, right, let's go it. for it. It's a five to eight. Uh, right. yeah, with it's a five to eight, you, you uh, yeah, you get you get clocked pretty quickly, and uh, and um, lot of lot of dark glances and uh, the conversation dies down before you can get anything. Yeah. Do you want to spend a reference, George? Oh, do I want to spend a reference? I um, guess I'll spend a reference. I guess I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll speak to a... Uh, assuming I'm, I'm, I'm sneaking around like some bars and some mm -hmm. scuzzy areas. I'll yeah. talk to one of the uh, bartenders. Someone who looks a bit rough knows, knows what he's talking about. All right. Uh, you want a name? Yeah, give me a name. Give me a name for. Ooh, uh, just Robbie. When you said that, you sounded. I know like Robbie you and Ronnie sound. Uh, uh, we'll, it's, 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 it's his brother, Robbie Fister. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Fister I'll go with. with. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll go with Robert. Robert. All right. Yeah. Uh, Robert, the bartender who uh, barrel chested. Um, Got a got a fierce beard and a head of hair to match it. Uh, 
Right, you're Ronnie. What do you have today? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just a drink. And uh, maybe, you know, if you've got any uh, leads on jobs going, I would not say no. And you know I can uh, repay in uh, in kind or however you wish. Just uh, I've heard there's some busy work going around. Um, and, uh, yeah, just wanting to find out any specifics that you've heard. Well, is that... Uh... Is that old, uh, old, 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 old geezer over at, uh, uh, over at Hakum? Yeah, he, uh, he's looking for people to get some, some, uh, uh, material, build new horse blankets. Horse you know how, blankets. You know how cold it's been this spring. Yeah. Mm. They're worried, they're worried about their livestock. Okay, okay. Thanks for the information. Yep, I will uh, let me know if you want any uh, any re any repayment at any time, or I will and, uh, uh, I'll get back to you. You know, the old niece is always wanting, is always wanting, always needing. So uh, as he kind of taps the bar for a bounty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you owe him a bounty. Uh, so yeah, you got so job number one, uh, Steward Muhammad, who is the enclave lead for Hakum. Uh, he's offering a job. Uh, he needs he needs new material to build more horse blankets, something more effective and efficient uh, than uh, grime cloth. As uh, yeah, it's been particularly savage uh, coming out of the last winter. As it's well, I mean it's April and you know going into May, and you, you really can't tell. It's not January at this point. It's uh, it's been quite quite bad. Uh, the job is called can't bring him in. So. Uh, so that just leaves us with uh, Mr. Sterling. So, so you do not know your competition for job two. You do not know what job one is. Let's hear what. Which job two is the 19? 19. That's 19 bounty for it. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's find out. Job let's get, in the, get in the horse blankets. Let's find the competition. Nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah, who do you reach out in your network, Sterling? Using uh, your hustler spot. Obviously, Sterling's not been in town for long, but he's quite a charming and quite an outgoing. You will notice him quite far off. So he has made friends with some of the guards quite quickly because originally they were like, who's this big, loud guy? Okay. Um, but they realized that he's pretty like on the level. So when you say guards, are you talking about the RAF cadre or are you talking about like the fence? The fence. The fencemen. No, the fencemen. Fence okay. Um. Well, give me a name for this fence man or fence woman. Uh, Captain Downing. Captain Downing. All right. Uh, well, you find him up on uh, up on the walls of York. You know, walking patrol, um, checking on checking on posts. How's it nope. doing out there? Is it busy? Oh, uh, boats are coming and going. Nothing else to be too worried about. How are you, Sterling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, just I hear in a lot of. Activity going round, and as always, I take us trying to make the world a better place, trying to make that bounty, trying to live a good life. You know how it is. Sure, um, I understand. And I, I've got a crew. I've built a crew, like I said I was going to do. Said probably. Well, that's good on me. Yeah. Drink, drink to your help tonight. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> um, but we hear that there's people like trying to like trip us up a bit just cause our life a bit more of a hassle than it needs to be Have you heard anything on the lines of that he kind of looks back and forth uh, uh at the uh at the various guardsmen that are up there with him um and kind of nods uh, to, just kind of looks at you and says no nah, no nah, nate never heard nothing like that but you see in his eyes he's indicating to uh you know move on a little bit um Let's check these fences. You never know yeah. like how sturdy they are. Well, uh yeah, once you are out of ear uh, out of eavesdropping range, he uh he, he moves up to you quickly and says, Look, uh bit of trouble around around with all this, so I don't mind telling you. Good man, no, but uh gonna need a bit a bit more something from you than uh that information's quite expensive if it got out that it was me, you understand. Fully understand, mate. You, you do uh, great work here. You keep the blight out of this wonderful town, so I'm more than happy to chip in and help. Well, unfortunately, all those good rolls I was making for you guys have stuck true so far. You can owe them 10 bounty, Phil. 
for this. Frick. <laughs> yeah, that's the hustler. That's the hustler life. <laughs> right. That's so great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got the whole way through the campaign. I got like nearly to the end of the campaign before my hustler spot got me. And Phil, you put it literally like the first roll. Yeah, literally the first roll, and I got freaking blindsided. Uh, yep. Uh, but your competition are the dungeon keepers, um, which they are sound like huh? <laughs> great people. They sound like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the very, very charming taker group. Um, totally not known for disappearing members of the other enclaves that uh, you know prove meddlesome. Uh, so yeah, you guys well, have all you deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know. People just disappear. So, it's just random. <laughs> all right. So you guys, like... you guys have all three pieces of information for job two. You do not know what job one is. Uh, which job are you going to go after? Two, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Want to go? Yeah. Want to go? Yeah. Want to go? Go snag some horse blankets. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Sure. That Sounds like a good job. Easy. Just just pop yeah. down to the barn, grab them, yeah. and walk back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Why not? We'll just put <laughs> my critical it, success in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, uh, shall we proceed to negotiations then, Spygo? Let's do it. All right. Very good, yeah, then. Well, we can see the track of oh, uh, Yes. Yes, oh, you can. Look at it. So fancy. Look at us go. All right. So, uh, crew upkeep I have for you lot as... Nine for great, nine for Spygon, four for Norfolk, and eight for Kuwait. So that yeah. brings us up to a nice even 30 bounty. Oh. I understand nothing on the screen, by the way. <laughs> well, that's because I mostly just described it to you all those months, Jim. We were playing. Uh, all right. What is everybody's break point as well, real quick? Oh, oh. Five for Sterling. Five for Sterling. Mine Honestly, says it's five, but I've got one dependent, one but, like. Then it's ration. only three. Yeah. You get one for your entire ration pack. So you will yeah. have one for rations, one for housing, and then how many dependents do you have? Yeah. Two dependents. So, so four for you. Four. Jim? Uh, mine's three. Three. All right. So so mine also says I've got a back keep. Yeah. Yep. And this job has two legs. All right. Very good, then. So, Spygon, why don't you give me a leadership check? Describe to me how you approach Steward Muhammad. Don't crit, fail, and fall flat on your face like I did every single time. Yes, I know. I remember. So where is Muhammad? What, is uh, that in an office somewhere? Or? Uh, you'll actually find him out... Uh, out checking on the fields um, of Hakum. Leadership is yes. free. Yeah, so that's five to three. I pass. Okay. <laughs> I just and I guess if you stand wanna, and roll for some reason. If you want to try and persuade the group to do something, I guess you can use leadership as well, but most of the time it's just for negotiations, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. I mean, you could use it against NPCs and stuff too, but yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. So yeah, uh, you succeed as you walk up to meet with, uh, with Stuart Muhammad. So yeah, how do you approach him? Um, just walk up to him, uh, straight up, and Mr. Mohammed, um, nice to finally meet you. Uh, he turns to greet you. He's actually wearing, um, yeah, he's he's wearing kind of the more what you would call like rugged style clothing, you know, more what you'd expect, yeah. uh, you know, a farmer to wear, you know, or uh, or a pastureman, um, or a shepherd. Uh, but otherwise, he's a fairly, you know, he's fairly tall, fairly well built. Um, but so similar stature, to Sterling, uh. yeah, very similar stature to you. But um, there is, and, and also you, you notice, you know, probably similar to as you said, Sterling being quite the charmer. He has a very genteel mannerism. His eyes always seem to be smiling as he turns to you, and uh, uh, he says, "Good day to you. Um, who are you, and uh, what can I do for you?" I am, I am Sterling, and um. I've heard that you are looking for able bodies in this time, and I think are we on the I menu? see. I see. Yes. So you wish to you wish to uh, take on the job I've been offering? Yes. Very good. Very good. Then. Uh, well, 
let us uh Let's go for a walk, shall we? Um, you know, find Sounds somewhere, wonderful. It's find a somewhere good day. Better. Yeah. It's nice out. So yeah, Let's he go. uh yeah, he leads you back out of the pasture land to uh, you know, a small office, a uh, small office building, you know, what was probably a stockyard manager's office, or he, he takes you in and uh quietly shoes out the uh the middle-aged woman you know in the office before closing the door and sitting down. All right, so let us let us begin negotiations then. May um, I sit? You may. Thank you. Uh, so we've started uh, with your success. Uh, you've started at buyer's market. Obviously I am starting at expenses. So we do the first round. Uh, do you need a reminder on all, what all your different charisma skills will do for you as far as all this goes or yes, please. Okay. So not for me, but for the chat, honest. Well, <laughs> right. did Spygon just do an, I'm asking for a friend right there. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, so how this works, how this will work, uh, is the player will make a leadership role as uh, Spygon is done based on that leadership role, both its success and the actual numbers that he's rolled. Uh, players will have so many rounds, uh, to try and push the black dice up to achieve a better payout for their job versus, uh, myself as the market who will be constantly pressing down, uh, I will always press down, um, and depending on... You're never on, on our side. <laughs> no, I'm not on your side. The That's market is job. never, yeah. <laughs> uh, Spy God, your general options right now is persuasion. That will get you a, pl a plus one to press up. Um, yep. If I am playing one of your spots against you, uh, a, a deception check will negate that, as well as still giving you your, your plus one press up. Um, you can utilize, uh, intimidation to end negotiations where we stand and tr threaten to walk away from the table, which means the dice won't move at all. You'll just get your last roll and whoever wins the dice will meet up. So in this case, if you were so foolish as to try it right now, if you won, you'd go straight up to, uh, you go straight up to, uh, expenses, expenses. which would be grand. Uh, but if you lose, <laughs> you're only getting the black dice. So yeah. you will get paid next to nothing. That would be, it's pretty big. It's pretty big gamble. Uh, yep. so yeah. What do you want to lead out with Phil? Persuasion. All right. Okay, we've got persuade. All right. You want to give me the roll before you role play? What, uh, what Sterling says. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 I think. So that is a eight to seven success. All right. Uh, so yeah, how do you open talking with uh, talking with Stuart Muhammad? So what's the job? Very excited to work for you. I think we can do a lot. There's a lot of things to be done. I think we can like change the world here. How do you feel? How your, are you thinking? Your optimism uh, brightens my day. Uh, I do not. So few get to hear it uh, from, from, from so little people. Uh, <laughs> it's still not we really. But uh, <laughs> we need to we, we need to take care of the the livestock, our horses, uh, our, our our time and trade. Obviously, we are the ones who go out and feed the supply line into uh, into uh, Stonehaven. Uh, they are vital at the moment. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I, I I know the ferrymen also do uh, do provide for you as well. But it's it's very important that uh, that we are able to keep our you know as, as as hard of a resource as horses are to maintain and preserve, let alone to expand upon. It's very important that we get this material as quickly as possible. Um, that, that is we are getting really understandable. We're getting resources that yet another storm has blown up out of the Arctic Circle and is coming straight down at us. And I shudder to think what will happen to these poor beasts uh, should we not be prepared for it. So uh, he is going to read one of your spots. So, Phil, why don't you give me your soft spot? He likes you. My soft spot is... Yeah. Can't we all be friends? Can't we all be friends? So... We have negotiated our first round of negotiations. You press up one, I've pressed down one. Uh, so now we turn to the rest of the group. So in between every round, one player from the group will get a chance to do a quick vignette to a tip to get Phil an edge. Uh, this comes in a variety of shapes and sizes and formats. Um, and since you won, actually, Phil, you do know that you are getting, uh, you have three rounds. 
of negotiations. Right? Yes. Mm. So you guys are on a bit of a bit of a tight schedule here uh, with what you're going to be able to get away with scam wise. But uh, can we all do out? the same thing? No, no. Oh. No, you have to. So we can't yeah. all inflate, pro- inflate price. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> right. Since you brought it up, Jim, uh, what would you guys like to do? Do you want to? Uh, do you want to try and get a try and get a spot for Phil to help in negotiations? Do you want to try and slam the price up a little bit better? Do you want to go after your competition? Do you guys actually know your competition is? They are going to try to undercut you. Would be advisable if one they of you might tries to take fail. Them out. I would, mm. I would like to uh, to sabotage our our rivals. All right. So you want to take the first scam? Yeah, I can. Okay, right, I, can, I can do it. So you so can't scam. Did, you can only punch away. things. <laughs> your brain <laughs> is really good. Yeah. Your brain is rubbish. You can just punch. I'm light on my feet. As long as I don't like, you know, walk into any chairs and stuff, it's fine. All You're right. Light on your brain, mate. So. Uh, Mr. Fista, what is right. your plan to sabotage the uh, the dungeon keepers from getting involved in this job? So, as far as I'm aware, um, the dungeon keepers do have their own vehicles. Mm-hmm. Question mark. Um, um, and get a D and D monster manual out. <laughs> Am I correct in thinking they've got vehicles with tires? Uh, I mean, carts and, and bikes and such. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, cool. I, I I was gonna go slash tires, but how about if they're carts? I just like take a take a take a little axe to them and uh, just break them apart a bit. Just just you know, get them distracted. Criminality. Go criminality. For it. it is. Yeah. Oh, ready then. My criminality is that. So uh, that is a ten to five. Ten to Nicely five. Done. All right. Um. Uh, yes. <laughs> You, you managed to get in and out without anyone noticing you. But, um, yeah, word is now out on the street. Uh, the Dungeon Keepers want any and all information on who just fucked up their uh, their, their their haulage. Um, their <laughs> but, yeah, they will not be a problem for you guys today. So, cool. Well done. Nice yes, to come out. That's for tomorrow. Yay. Yeah, yeah that, that is a tomorrow that's problem. Right. You remember when we started a fight with another group and that <sighs> turned into a full-on war? That was fun. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, uh, going back into into scene, um, Muhammad is is kind of drumming his fingers together and nodding excitedly, and he says, "Yes, um, I must say, Sterling, that uh, I find you such a refreshing breath of fresh air to this community. Uh, your your optimism and hope it it leads me to believe that our 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 our, our trifled." Of communities can become one very soon uh, if we have people like you in positions of power. So, I very much, I very much would like you, uh, would like you involved here with this job. Um, so, yes, I, I am definitely, definitely feeling good about going forward with hiring you for this particular operation. So, yeah, he is absolutely pressing down on your soft spot. <laughs> um, that, like, yeah, let's just be buddies and like let's make all this, yeah, yeah. you know, one happy, well, nice, you know, playground. Yeah. All right. What right, are so you what, going to do? It's, it, yeah, it's your turn. What What would you like to roll to counter? Uh, um, what options do I have? Well, uh, we have violence. Dis- uh, it, it, deception is your best option, as that will allow you to try and negate that press he just made up on you. Um, okay. Uh, I can roll at base. Hold on. Uh, you can roll at base. Or but you can take a skill that you have. <laughs> that, yeah, or you could just take it for what it is and take your take your plus one from persuasion and just go for a standard persuasion. Or okay. again, you could try intimidation and just try and ah, then you give me the job or else I'm out. That's a base as well, so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, what did you spend your Why has he done this? <laughs> because... Sterling is a nice guy. All right. He's Sterling's a nice guy. Persuade him to, uh, yeah, persuade him to pay you more money. Because <laughs> he's a nice guy, too. <laughs> he just wants to be your buddy. Uh, that is a fail. Five oh, to seven. No. So so we can we can do lots together. We, we can be good. We can work together. Like I'm glad that you've got the confidence in me to do this job. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think we can do good things. 
Hey, no, it's, I agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, whoops. Nope. That was that was not how that was supposed, supposed to go the other way. There we go. Uh, so yeah, you guys are now heads up at uh, labor or at value. So uh, if you could stop him from uh, pressing you down any further, you know you're at least going to get the pay that that made you want the job in the first place. Yep. Uh, if you could beat him, you'll even get your break points covered. So at least you know your dependents won't go hungry, and nor will you. Um, but yeah, you're uh, you're coming up a bit short on this one. So moving back to the rest of the crew, uh, scams, gentlemen, um, we're coming in, we're coming to the end of the thing, as it were. Abby, do you want to go? Uh, George, what did, did, were you successful? George, George, George yeah, succeeded. George so you know, you're not going to get undercut by the competition. So you mm. will not get pressed down if Spygon can at least make his check here. I think we just try one of everything, right? We just try, yeah, I try, try, head on, head, I try, try, try head on, and you try to inflate. Or the other way Let, let's metagame 100%. <laughs> <laughs> nope, um, doesn't work that way. One of you is going and one of you yep. only is going. So yeah, I mean, who is going and what are you doing? This is, this is your last chance. I, I can hear oh, Abby. God. What, a, what is the job again? Can we get a... We're getting horse... You're going to get horse blankets. Blanket. It, 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 horse on, blankets. Like, yeah, horse blankets. It's pretty yeah. chill. It sounds pretty chill. A yeah, blanket made of a horse or like blankets for a horse. Blankets, blankets, for, blankets for, a horse. for a horse. You potentially oh made out of horse. Gosh. Chris Walker, you don't need to know this. <laughs> Why does it matter? Why do you care? Cash me it. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I want to. I might want to do some networking to sort of like make it so that like blankets and stuff and and like cotton is in such short supply that yeah that the, the value just isn't anywhere near what it should be. So, All right. So you want to you you want to scam the price? That's what you want. Yes, to do. please. Um, that would actually be a deception check. Would that be a deception? I have yeah. I have deception. Funny oh, enough, it looks like my character's a bit better suited for negotiations here for God's sake. Because <laughs> I got pretty much all of them just to be ready. All right, Greg, go for it. Woo! That is a critical failure. What a day. <laughs> I love he runs his mouth. Wow, that's a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> the market's like, um, oh, do I will it? You will need it. to will it. You, will, you can will. only will it down to a failure, can't it? Isn't that how it works? Correct. That is correct. correct. But if you keep the crit failure, I will reduce your black die by your black die. So, with a Don't crit. do that. That's bad. So, we don't that scam that. you pulled, Adam, <laughs> when you succeed, you get your black dice added to the black dice of the job payment. You have crit failed. I'm going to take away from the black dice now. So, instead of getting oh, paid money. 19, you're going to get paid 16 with a 3-3. Three, three. So, are you going to expend your will point to stop that, or are you just are, are you going to assume that you, I mean, are you get one a game, one around, don't you? What? Yeah, one a game. You get one will you... point to game unless you do something for your character to get one back. Uh, right. I mean, whatever your will value is, you can increase the will yeah, point value. Well, well, I think like, <laughs> yes, on one. But yes, yeah. if yours is out of one, yes, you have the one unless you play a spot. That's our fucking money, great. <laughs> <laughs> Will it? Silence you. you. Will it? <laughs> no, I promise you. If I, if if I, I will if it, I, what does it turn it, into then? So what? Nothing the happens. Do? If you nothing will happens. it, nothing happens. You just failed. You wasted everyone's time. That is it. We're done. You, we move on. I, yeah, I we'll we'll spend a will point. All right. Wasting wasting will. Wasting wasting I'm wasting people's people. time. Okay. That's what I'm really good at, you see. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, we're entering the final round of negotiations. Uh, so spy god, basically, you're trying to keep yourself from getting pressed down again. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a persuasion check. Yep. Uh, that is a pass. All right. Uh, so yeah, you and Muhammad continue to sit and just be agreeable human beings with each other for a few more minutes as you you prattle back and forth. Uh, before he says, "All right, let us uh, let us let us let us get the the fine details worked out." So, uh, we will Sounds now good. close negotiations with a leadership check by God. And that is a pass on the leadership as well. Okay. 10 to 5. 10 to 5. Very good then. That's where all my points went to, Gray. <laughs> all into leadership. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, you all total have are, are going to earn 34 bounty for this job uh, as you got labor. So that is black plus red plus your break point. So... You all will have to pay your upkeeps after this game, but uh, your breakpoint's covered, so your dependents are all going to be fine. Um, 
So I'll just have zero bounty by the end. <laughs> well, I mean, so 19 bounty. So, no, that's you know, good. that's all right. That's good for a first, for a first yeah, the round. 15, 15 bounty comes off that to pay all your break points. So you guys currently are splitting 19 bounty between the four of you. So that'll be four bounty. No, five bounty for three of you, four for one of you. Uh, I've gone to magic right. up 19 bounty out of somewhere. <laughs> Not so, out of business, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, uh, Stuart Muhammad, he gives you a, uh, a grid point. Uh, it's not actually too far away. Um, Sterling, it, it might occur to you. Um, he's paying yep. quite a bit for what seems like a pretty simple job. That's fairly close. But uh, but you're too busy having a great time with him. So, yeah. Uh, he's a good guy. Yeah, he is a good guy. So Protected by zombie horses. <laughs> Four, <laughs> <four spectres. laughs> uh so yeah so negotiations closed uh the four of you may do uh may each do a pre-job scam if you wish to do so uh find out more information about the job or what's going on yeah can i just find out what the fuck with with this mission why it's so like uh, can That's i see so if there's easy. any or could any any weird reports from over there? Can I do some research? You may absolutely do some research. Burn a charge off you, you big specs. I and, do. Uh, oh bollocks! <laughs> what, Jim? <laughs> I don't have UB specs. D does anybody else have UB specs? You could you borrow UB specs. Can I use someone else's UB specs? <laughs> <laughs> no one has UB specs. No, great. Hey, just raise his hand. Great. I, 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 I the only UB one UB. that has them. Yes. I really. Do. Between UB specs and a first aid kit. They're so important. So when you're bringing it out later, <laughs> that's so important. How can you what the fuck? Uh, chat, the just, just quickly to explain to all of you out there not familiar with the the story of the bread markets. So to kind of um, kind of alleviate you know contemporary living standard type stuff and integrate it into this game. Um, in lore, a massive network of uh, weather balloon Wi-Fi emitters were launched several years before the world ended. Uh, so while, yes, everything sucks and, ev and everything is terrible and people die constantly, horrible deaths, everyone's got banging 5G internet everywhere <laughs> you are in the world. And uh, when the game was created, the, the Google Glasses were hitting and thought that might be the next step in digital tech. So that's what a Ubix specs is basically is, is, is Google Glasses. Google so, Glass, yeah. yeah. Uh, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, <laughs> Abyss Walker, are you loaning Snack your Ubix specs so he can do research? Yes. I need them. All right. <laughs> Bird, uh, did you did you buy off? Did you buy off Hungry Gray? Yes. All right. So burn a charge oh, off. That, of that, those, those those spectacles are so snazzy. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, so Jeff, go put, ahead. Put give me that the, research. Give specs on. <laughs> yep. Put yep. his specs uh, on and roll. And I'm going to try try and research. Can I work the voice activation or will it completely fail? Oh, oh, I smashed it. Oh, yeah, I win. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what were you, what were you, sorry, what were you <laughs> wanting to know about, about the job site? I won, I won the game. Uh, I, I, I wanted to do some, some digging and see if there'd been any reports or activity about that area at all. Uh, so, like, what you see is that there is actually, uh, it has its own subreddit on the Lifelines forums, purely Reddit. dedicated to um, urban legends about that that farm. Oh God, what are they? Uh, it, 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 I mean, the, the speculations range from everything to um, you know aberrant discussion all the way to black site for uh, British intelligence to cannibals like it, it, everything and anything has been postulated about it all that is known for sure is that uh half a dozen different groups or organizations have gone into that area not a soul has come has come back and they all go for the horse blankets you say not necessarily <laughs> for the horse, horse blankets but they, a lot of people have gone to that that farm network yes okay. and they always I'm go back. relay this information to the gang, uh, guys, is, is not a good place. <laughs> it's not a good place at all. It looks, it, it, there's a lot of people talking about it, uh, talking about aberrants, talking about horrendous p things it could be. Apparently, no one goes in and comes back. 
Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to find out if there's anything on the way that has been of particular interest or is bad. Okay. That people have been falling on, under, you know. Sure. Bird of charge. There's obviously a reason we're being sent up here. This is um possibly a dangerous place. So, yeet. <laughs> That is a black seven, red three. All right. I was going to be using uh, networking <laughs> on that one, using my specs again. Yep, burn another charge off it. Burning a charge. God, I've got knock it, but I left already. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is actually a geological report about the route you're taking. Um, okay. there have been some strange carbon dioxide, um, emissions reported in the area. So. Okay. From all the horses. Yeah. I don't be a horse. Uh, Mr. Fista, Sterling, do you want to do anything before y'all head out? Or are you just, you just ready to rock and roll? No, I'm, I'm good. good. He seems legit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Okay. All right, very good then. Uh, burn rations, first leg of your adventure. Uh, what an auspicious start it will be to this campaign. Mm. Um, right. Everybody can make awareness checks if they so wish to do so. Yes, and it begins. it begins. I shall roll. Eight. That Nine is four over two. Ten ten. That whoa. <laughs> Chris 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 Chris. Was that natural? Yep. I, I mean that's yes. Well, it would be a great success. I don't think he'd be. I don't think he'd be excited if it wasn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, a lot of you notice you're you're starting to sweat. The major major awareness checks. Um, oh God, it's actually hot. Uh, Sterling, with your ten ten though, you actually recall uh, Abyss Walker mentioning strange the, the strange weather report in the area. Yep. Um, and sorry, I said carbon dioxide. I meant carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. I got the I got that a little blurred together. Uh, oh I've had a real life successful. Foresight check. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with your with your crit success, um, Sterling, I'll actually allow you to uh, skip the penalty that uh, that that that, the, that success brings with this of spending the addition, an additional ration to go around the area, and just say you were you're on it like a bonnet, and so cool. you all had already prepped a route to move Uber around. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, stuff. yeah. Well so done. Some of the stories come from the carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide can make you hallucinate. Yep. <laughs> and fear. Obviously, people out here get scared quite easily. I'm sure it's a load of baloney. Anybody <laughs> who wishes to do so could, could make research checks. I've already done one, right? I feel like I've done one. Yeah, I don't fancy it. <laughs> we're just going in. Yep, yeah, no. We're cool. My character's not equipped for that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> I feel that's going to be a lot that of would involve intelligence. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, burn rations, next leg. Do, 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 do. Staying up in the same area, it seems. How many rations do you start with? Ten? Yes. Ten. Yeah. Yes. Uh... Anyone that wishes to do so can make an awareness or a research check. Awareness. I'll, do I'll definitely do awareness. Check. Yeah, I'll do awareness. We uh, really hate research. Wow. We are one. not academics. Four to one. That, that, is, an, that is an eight to two. Okay. Uh, three to one. All right. Uh, rolling. You all, Jim, did you roll? I failed. Oh, did you fail? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Sterling, Fister, and Walker, you all spot a uh, taker sign, actually. Um, that's a form of graffiti, uh, sort of shorthand, like runic shorthand. Some of like hobo sign, if that translates to you, you Brits. I know what that means. Okay. Uh, apparently there's a there, there's a respite up ahead. There's a safe, there's a safe, a safe place. 
Oh, up sounds ahead. good. Yeah. Y'all want to go check it out? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did, like the, you say like the, the, the sign, is it of like a rival gang? Or rebel group. No in takers. I mean, take, other takers yeah. have left this Which sign. Is, so like, I, see, I mean, yeah. rivals in that you guys are all rivals trying to make that yeah. make that bounty. But like, you know, okay. there's kind of a there's kind of a generally understood you know code, code. of conduct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. People don't tend to leave taker sign for you know bullshit. Uh. Well, uh, you guys are actually seeing advertisement from. Um, I don't know what's a what's a major development company in Britain. Like, sorry, I didn't have enough time to research this. Um, what is it like? Like, building res residential or is it yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I know, know one. Uh, Western Homes. All right, you see a Western Home sign up ahead. Uh, apparently, they bought up a bunch of land right before the crash, and we're planning on trying to build some uh, some rural developments. You know, get a get a bit of the get a bit of the country life while still having all the amenities of you know of, of living in in, in 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 back home in your in your good old town. Um, there's a gated community up ahead. Um, with no community, <laughs> a single a single model home is all that stands there. Um, the rest of the buildings wow. literally just destroyed them. No, they're just not there. They never got built. Oh, like built. literally, oh, okay. enough time to get the models out before before all hell broke loose. <laughs> oh, no, guess we'll walk up to the building. I guess oh. I'll definitely go check out the building. Yeah, uh, uh, bang on the door. Yep, you got to get across the gate first, though. Are you guys? Oh, are you guys okay. actually climbing in? Yeah. I feel like climbing yes. is a bit, um, a bit uh, antisocial. Should we? Well, as opposed okay. to busting the um, gate down. Um, yeah, I was about to say, what is the alternative, <laughs> Mister? Asking someone to open it for us. Yeah, Hello, right, okay. Mister, you, you call yourself a boxer. Punch the gate open. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's jump it. I'm, I'm all up for jumping it. All right. Uh, I like to rattle the, the gate first. first. Yeah, I'll oh, go sorry. First. Rattle the gate first. Rattle the gate. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Nothing happens. No movement. No, no movement inside. Nothing. Talk down scouts. He's like, let me in. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the gate's actually quite easy to get across. No no rolls or ration expenditure oh, needed. You guys, you guys, right. Yeah, you guys can hop it. I mean, it's it's not not that easy, but it's I easy. Just, yeah, yeah, I was, expe I was um, like imagining the black gate. Of it. <laughs> However, the house is completely sealed up. Um, though you do notice right. a hand crank electric generator outside. I want to crank can the I generator go, slinger. Can I go start okay. around the back? Sure, go ahead. Well, I need give a roll for that, or is it just pretty easy? Nope, you're fine. Uh, Snag, go ahead, give me an awareness check. Pretty solid fail there. <laughs> Please I learn can't. how to roll. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> shit. See it. Yeah, don't see shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, as Abyss Walker begins to crank the uh, the generator, you all hear electronic humming and beeping, and then a uh, a security panel on the door lights up. Uh, go ahead, give me them self control checks. Give me some dank self control checks. Oh, here they are. Am I am here I inside the or am I around the other side of the house? Nah, you've come back by now. <laughs> that is a fail. It worth a try, man. If you fail, it's a stress. Oh, God. I succeed, bitches. Yep, doesn't succeed. Fail, doesn't upset All me right. at all. All right. <laughs> uh, the security system um, hums, and then an electronic voice says, state name. Uh, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie accepted and the door opens. Oh what? shit. Can awesome. I walk can I walk the door as well? Uh well yeah, as soon as Fister steps inside, it's slammed shut again. Okay. Oh god. Cool. Nate name. Ronnie. <laughs> Error. Oh fuck. <laughs> Steve. Out the out the way. Steve Snag, accepted. Move it. Yes. <laughs> Snag walks in. Door I'm slammed in. shut. Uh um, a best walker, <laughs> best walker accepted. Door opens. Oh, this feels like a trap. <laughs> yes, accept any names. Don't know what you're on about. Are you going in, Gray? Yeah, okay. Door <laughs> slammed shut. Sterling, hit the button. Sterling, Sterling accepted. 
Door cool. opens. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm ready. Can I unsheath my sword? Uh, certainly. My sword. Why yeah, are you taking your sword? Don't, don't do that. What are you doing? Uh, inside, Ronnie, you, you're, the in first, the first you're the first man in. Uh, mm -hmm. You see a bicycle uh, connected to several generators, um, as well as a hot water heater. Do you have any mechanics? Nope. Right. I think I do. Maybe I do. Yeah, snag. Let me have a quick check. Okay. I might have got rid of it. No, nope, I was too poor. Uh, <laughs> you think Sorry. it's working? Seems to um, be. Can I uh, jump on the bicycle and pedal it and see what happens? Yeah, by all means. Cool. Uh, I'll do that. Seems pretty tough to actually this room. Go ahead and burn me a ration there, Fister. Go for it. Done. Burn. All right. Uh, lights all around the house come on. The hot water heater starts to hum. You guys see a fully functioning bathroom with a shower. And a table on the table is a sign uh, that reads, take a weapon, leave a weapon. And illustrates the take a weapon, leave a weapon policy. Wow. What weapons there's, also, uh, there's also a massive rule sheet next to the take a weapon, leave a weapon try. Okay. I, 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 I read the rule sheet. All right. The yeah. rules. The rules state that you are to clean the house and replace the water in the cistern from the well before you leave. Okay. However, you are welcome to stay and use it uh, as long as you wish. Um, did we have showers in uh, where we came from? I mean, I yeah. I, I mean, you do. You got a yeah. river running through, so you guys have some access to decent water, but like. I mean, like a proper shower, eh, that's an amenity. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are too busy trying to maintain those Roman era walls and whatnot, you know, <laughs> and and eat. Yeah, um, eat. I, I would like to call first dibs on the shower. Uh, right. like yeah, so, so yeah, Fister, you'd like, this to, stay, world long enough you'd like to stay the Fister. night? Yeah, Fister, you're wanting to stay the yeah. night? You want to stay a whole night? All right. Yeah, let's stay a whole night. Well, yeah, well, I'm up for staying the night. I want a shower. Uh, Mr. Fister, everybody I must can say, heal one humanity damage. Heal one. What yeah. if I'm crap? That's stress. Yeah. Uh, any that. any humanity damage. Yeah, yeah. You may you may heal. I don't know what you're on about, Kay. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> totally can I, <laughs> Ron, I Ronnie Fister? Here. I have to speak to you here. Yeah, go for you it. You understand we're about to go on potentially a dangerous mission. Yeah. yeah. Being clean is not necessary. I no, mean, feel probably should come here on the way better. back and do that. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Chat asked him what he <laughs> asked him what he was eating, so he's showing them ah. what he's eating. <laughs> See, it looks lovely, but at the same time, the camera quality makes it look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It, I'm, no, sure, it it. I'm sure it was lovely if handmade. I'm sure it was lovely if handmade. It, yeah, but yeah. You understand what I'm saying, Fister? Um, we have to I replace gonna... this water. You see? Yeah, let's... and. We don't really have much water to go. The only thing we could replace There's this a with well is our nearby. There's, There's literally a well, a well out back. Like, snack Did you found read it. the rules? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, I can't read. Oh, okay. So why are we looking why? at the rule sheet then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I just kind of shrug off what I'm like, this is, right. this is a... So let's put his hand on my like... shoulder. You go and have a shower. We'll get everything else sorted. Don't you worry. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to have a shower. Yeah, I want to look at the weapon piles. Is there anything cool there? Uh, give me a scavenge roll. Oh, I have a massive plus one to scavenge. All right. And I failed again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody stopped by here in quite some time. It is a Can I? Oh, it's uh, empty. It's empty. Uh... That's okay. oh, so nobody's I've, obeyed I've, the rules then. <laughs> Everyone's just grabbed everyone. everything and run off. Yeah, everybody's been a <laughs> asshole. Well, Can I make an awareness they... just to make sure that there's no like secret compartment or something? Sure. Give me an awareness check. Please crit fail. I didn't, <laughs> but I I feel the bit There's a secret compartment. <laughs> it's full of zombies. <laughs> um you're not you are not finding any uh but you do take a stress because you're not finding them which means they're just that well hidden i know i can't find them you know but i can't someone. understand why i must be stressed <laughs> yep <laughs> yep <laughs> uh sterling's gonna go and get the water from the, okay. the well. so you guys are gonna you guys are gonna follow the rules yep, yep. all right 
Cool. You guys have a relatively, I mean, it's a bit stressful. You're out in the wilds, but like it's a relatively pleasant evening. Um, you actually have a cooktop to cook your rations on. So you're eating warm rations at least. And yeah, a shower and cots to sleep on. But someone someone has to, we have to take turns doing, doing watch because any old sure. idiot yeah. can of course. get to the door. Yeah. No, of course, of course. Agree. Yeah. What's your name? Snack, that's a good point. <laughs> Snack, that's Delta a good one four seven eight. Snack, you're up first, mate. Good job. Thanks for volunteering. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a night owl anyway. That's good to know, mate. Good to know. If you need anything, obviously just shout. Well, that's my shower. Go bed. <laughs> All right. Uh, right cool. Are there beds? Huh? Are there? Yeah, 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 there's cots. Yeah, there's cots. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. What? Uh, cool. Everybody burn a ration. Job site. Nice. You guys have a pleasant evening. Except See, for this walker. Nothing to worry about. The whole about. time tearing the house apart. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? I just it's cleaned losing up. his mind. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I just out can't believe more. people wouldn't obey the rules. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> it's unbelievable behavior. I thought there was honor in this world. There will be. There are just a few bad eggs. <laughs> I think the security. I've only been alive for an hour and eleven minutes, and there's been nothing but bad eggs. What am I meant to expect? Making an omelette, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, you wish you'd only been alive for an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> You've had to live through a lot more than that, my friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Job so you set, guys, yeah. yeah, you guys crest a hill, and out before you, you can see, you know, what appears to be, uh, you know, a um, large paddocked area with several several barns, um, a, a couple of large houses, um, several other structures, you know, kind of office office type structures. You've arrived at the farm. Hell yeah! Extremely dank and overcast. Um, Can we see a barn of some kind? Yeah, I just said you see several. Oh, I'm several sorry. Barns. Yeah. <laughs> several barns. Well, let's go and what's check it, them out. What's the, what's the closest barn to us? Uh, awareness checks. Do you guys have any scopes or binoculars? Mm, I, I can nope. squint real good. I have my hands. <laughs> okay. You can give me an awareness check. You need to succeed by three, though, if you want to actually make out anything about I was it. Right, any roll roll. Sterling doesn't see anything. I feel that was I... abysmal. <laughs> Uh, eleven to five. Oh no, tell a lie. He does see ten to ten to six. Ronnie Fister with his Ronnie, special Ronnie eyes. Fister has the eyes of a hawk. He has, <laughs> he has my brand. Um, uh, Ronnie, uh, I mean, you've described your life before the crash as you know, kind of a life of like vagrancy, you know, bare knuckle boxer and whatnot. Uh, where did like what was the area you grew up in? Like, like what sort of like. What did you do before you ended up, before life shit on you enough that this is just kind of this is the only way you could make it was by beating oh. people with your bare hands? Um, so I was bare knuckle boxing before the blight hit. Um, right. I did try to, you know, go to community college, uh, but then found boxing as a way of making money and gotcha. then kind of just kind of got sucked into it. Ah, so you were more yeah. So not too rough of an upbringing, right? A fairly, fairly normal m middle class upbringing, and you know, by I, I would say, standards. I would say, I would say middle class, de definitely working class, like working class. And, okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but yeah, you've really been around like you know slaughterhouses or like you know sharing yeah. time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that just that just can't be good then. Um. Those, those, what are those piles everywhere? Um, there's a lot of piles of goop, red goop. Uh, okay. Stuff stretched out. That's definitely a horse head you see laying over there, not attached to anything else. That's not uh, good. Uh, that's a self control check. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, oh. Makes thank, sense. God we, thank God we can't see shit from here. Self control. <laughs> yeah. Are you telling the rest of the crew what you're seeing, Norfolk? Um, yeah, I've just there's, there seems to be a lot of. Here we go. <laughs> like, so there's those checks for the rest of you. Get those yeah. dice yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. Drop uh, one dice and roll them. Just uh, yeah, just one die. Unsettling. Yeah. 
Uh, if you fail, it's a stress. Yeah. Um, this is this nice. Oh yeah, and previously, yeah. Uh, Slinger, previously you said yeah. that we could heal one humanity. Uh, yep. I've got yep. five. The only humanity issues I've got is five and trauma. Can I become uncracked? No, you cannot. No, you no, cannot you uncrack. uncrack. Once you uncrack. once you hit the breach, you've gone past. You've gone through it. There's no going cool. back. Okay. Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, Ronnie said like there's rotting piles of meat and horse heads and all sorts of other nastiness scattered throughout the place. Well, that can't be good for lots of reasons. One being it implies freshness. And yeah. uh, from what y'all have seen, uh, the the stories about this farm stretch back at least a year or two. Fresh cow heads. So someone's I, been here. Woods here. <laughs> I don't well, speak up. Speak I up a bit more. I'm speaking all, 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 all out of character. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so how do you guys want to approach it? Just walk up to it, don't we? Wanna, yeah, wanna just walk through. I want to look. Well, can can we send Ronnie? Ronnie, you just go walk up. Why we send him, Ronnie? He's not going to Doesn't even have the luxury of a spear or a sharp stick. I'm going to pull a leadership. I have a plan. I'm. What's the plan? Here's the plan. What's the plan, Walker? How far away from this barn are we? Uh, <laughs> out far long? Like, like, yeah, like a easily a half mile to a mile. Like you're, you're right, good, okay. you're good yeah, distance away. Close, yeah, you're good. We're gonna have to take a We're gonna have to take a little walk towards yeah, it. Yeah, so let's walk mm -hmm. towards it before yep. we can do anything. All right. Unless yeah. you want to open fire with that mighty machine gun of yours, Sterling. Suppress the goop. Suppress the goop. That is one way to announce <laughs> your fucking entrance yeah. to an area. Yeah. Hey, Ronnie, <laughs> it's a barn. What, what, what am I going to do? Mortally wound the barn? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, we're coming in for blankets. I mean, <laughs> we're going to shoot some piles of like crushed up right, holes. Let's go. Are you, are you Come on, guys. Man? Ronnie, are you a sneaky man? Uh, I'm a sneaky man, but I'm. Why well, would we not just walk away? Why are you guys so unnerved? Let's walk by... up. I'm pulling the leadership. I'm pulling out the leadership right. deck. Pulling the leadership deck. We're all we'll we'll agreeing. We all want to go over to it. It's fine. Yeah, well, well, then let's go, go then. What? <laughs> why are we let's do it. Uh, so you guys are just moving up, just walking yeah, out we'll across up. across the. Can I say when we get about four? Can I say when we get about four hundred meters away? Can I place an RFID flashbang on the ground? What? Sure. To what end? Oh. I have a plan. All right, sure. Are it's you gonna? Off, it? It's off far enough away, so make it, sure it's you, got. Make sure you got, make sure you burn a charge. I'll burn one. I'll burn yeah. one. Burn so charge. basically, what I'm uh, just to announce the game, what's actually happening is I have a screamer flashbang, yeah, which is it can be remote detonated. Ah, have you told so the crew gonna, that? Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> hey, a piss walk, and you drop this. Just like, okay, you leave that alone. I have a plan. And then I said what exactly what I just said. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Is there any cover nearby that I can get to? That, like, any sort I mean, of tree line, the or fence bush line? line? What's left of the fence line? It, but, like, again, this is like. Pasture land, like there's this, you know, clump, clumps of trees, but nothing like significant. You have a spear in a net. Why do you need cover? <laughs> because I have a spear in a net. It's like <laughs> what are you covered? Exactly from? the reason I need cover. Just use the net to catch like... bullets. You're fine. Let's just keep yeah. walking towards the location. Yeah, right. Okay, you guys are moving up. Yes. Uh, Abyss Walker, is there something you're waiting for to detonate that your 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 bomb, or are you, are you just waiting for a narrative appropriate moment? Like I just like a wait for a narrative narrative appropriate. All moment. right, uh, you guys make it to the fence line before. Can we see anything? Uh, I mean, you could see the abattoir that is the the field. Like it Boy. is. Uh, you know, entrails or, you know, body parts from you know, equestrian body parts scattered everywhere at blight, a lot of blight, too much blight. If anybody want, wants to make a research check or has, has an intelligence rating, they, they, they think they could throw here on this. Yeah. I can try an nope. intelligence. Right. Got a okay. bit of an intelligence go for rating, it. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Who's going for it, Phil? I'll let you go. Uh, why? 
My rolls look so you bad. got higher. <laughs> oh, I did it. 11 over 2. Say I'd faith in you. And um, you've been wandering. <laughs> you've wandered the world a lot, Snag, in your in your mini adventures, we'll call them, your travels. <laughs> um, travel. Light doesn't take to animals. It is purely oriented towards humanity. Like... You don't know why. You're not a scientist. Like you, you never. No one knows why. And the only scientists you've ever met, you really weren't interested in listening to them because mostly they were begging um, for their lives from you. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know for a fact, blight doesn't interact with animals, bugs, anything. Like it just tends to kill them if it touches it, and so thus animals avoid it, and blight doesn't seek it out. So. Why the fuck is there all this blight sloshed all over all these horses? Yeah, there's a horse vector. <laughs> <laughs> Try and his name is Hector. <laughs> Hector the vector horse. Oh, God. Um, is Jim, do we just find out what... what would I, I be able to do an, a, a, like some sort of networking check to see if this would be uh, a particular ritual method of, of a group? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm, am I out of character? I'm allowed to tell Jim what that means. Why there's blight on the horse carcasses? That <laughs> I mean, is sure, a failure. Yeah. It's, uh, it's because, it's, because it's not just horse. It's, there's human in that pile. Oh. <laughs> That's the implication. It's a masquerade. Uh, I, people, yeah, what you're saying. What? Yes. Yes. It's got people oh, in it as well as horse. God. Yeah. Um, That's pretty bad. Are you going to relay us to the group, or are you just going to keep us nice and innocent of this? Uh, uh, you guys like catch wind, wind of an extremely high peered, high high pitched tone, like to the point that it's not even really sound anymore. It's more just an irritation in the back of your ears. Can we, Can tell we pinpoint it? Yeah. No, no, not at all. No, like it's true. just yeah, a yeah. it's just a throbbing in your ear that's like just the shy of hurting. So we've got. In front of us, a field full of corpses mm -hmm. and blight. We've just came over the fields. Where's the barn from us? Uh, across the pasture from you. And now so there's potentially a Nazgul coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, do we since you mentioned that, Jim, <laughs> the tone ends. And the minute it ends, you hear the most gut-wrenching awful bleating cry emanate from inside one of the barns oh, god. oh my god bleating bleating it's like a, a goat sheep. we can't kill it it's ah. a goat we can't kill it well get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's not a bad reference there uh gray as you see a mass slam out of the shadows of the barn door and land in the grass of the pasture. It seems to like grip almost with goopy tendril fingers. Like an amoeba. Yeah. Cool. And drag and more of the mass comes out. And what you see uh, will probably haunt you to the end of your days until... Uh, the sweet release of death takes it from your from your consciousness. Uh, it is a massive blight, the like of which you've never encountered before, let alone heard of. Uh, sticking out of it at various odd angles are horse heads and appendages, um, almost like something slurped in a lot of them together. Uh, even as it moves, a part of it breaks off and falls and falls out to the ground. And the, the 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 upper half of the horse that it is cries, screams, thumps, and then lays still and starts to break down right in front of your eyes, like at a rapid rate that you could discern it. Self control checks. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Jesus. I was like, oh, I was like gonna me. mention it like at the first half of that. Hey, crit failure. Crit failure. No. Crit failure's a crack, Phil, in stress. <laughs> Cool. Run, run, run. Do you want to you flight? You have flight? Will. Okay. You have right. will, Sterling's up. Will, he's will. gone. He's headed. He's heading he's back gone. the way you all came, as fast as you've ever seen a man move. Gray, how'd the you do? The only guy with a fucking gun. Yeah, he's gone. Gray, how'd uh, you do? I just failed, so I'm not going to be doing what he did. 
Three. That's three distress. What did I Ooh. break? It crash I'm in. very close to crash. doing what he did, but Press. I haven't started yet. Press. Uh, Press. Wait, Norfolk, how did you two do with your checks? Four to one. Uh, all right, four to one. Uh, Norfolk, that's a single. That's a single stress single marker. Stress. Jim, that what did you well. say? I failed. You failed? That's three. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Spygon of Sterling's sprinting away. Oh yeah, he is hauling balls. He's gone. Like he's not even screaming. He's just legs. <laughs> and I mean, hell. literally, his long ass legs are covering ground like nobody's business. <laughs> you guys aren't catching him. What way is uh, he going? Is he going back to where we came? Yep, back the way you came. Oh, back yeah. towards the. Hill oh, so he'd be going over my flashbang. <laughs> I mean, near enough. Right, I don't set it off. off. Don't no, don't you, don't you actually don't going to do, do this? It. Are you Why going to do, do this, Adam? That? Why? It, has, it has no gameplay benefit whatsoever, even <laughs> even roleplay benefit. Because <laughs> Sterling's you already gone. The lol, so don't troll us all. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sterling's already, already roleplayed out. Jackass, make a jackass character and play this. Right. Game. We can shoot you in the head. Enough out of you lot. <laughs> Adam, what are you doing? Are you doing this, yes or no? No, I'm not doing it. Okay. No. All right. Okay. Uh, probably a good shout if you really want to be drawing the creature's attention. Like. Mm -hmm. That's a great way of doing it. Uh, yeah, but the fa uh, that was my plan. Only that fucking jackass is running towards the flashbang. <laughs> yep. Hello, I found a critical. What would you yeah, want I me know. to do? <laughs> but you you know. Fight? He could have fight. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you three. What are you three doing, though? This thing is just dragging itself out in the Has past. Has it noticed us yet? As far as you can tell, no. How how right. can I get, how can big we thing? just hide and let it shamble away? Where are you going to hide from it? Over there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, Brilliant that move. <laughs> um, that giant wall I just magic out me there. <laughs> I mean, again, I did describe the compound. I will describe it again. You guys are up, up to the fence line of the pasture, uh, like the arena, like, like one of the arenas, you know. Uh, there are multiple long barns. I will say three of them. This came out of one of them. There are also two office structures and three houses kind of arrayed around the property. So we're after some horse blankets. Yes. Um, I would like to, let's just, you know. None of you researched where to find such things in this place. So you, as far as you know, they can be like, anywhere in the compound. Let's check a barn. Do recognize stables? Are there I any mean, stables? Are they all just barns? No, they're just all barns. Yeah. Like, uh, again, this was a mass. The barns and an office area, facility. yeah. And house. Probably the house, wouldn't it be? The you house houses? Houses? You want I want houses? the house. All right. There's, like, there's you think of the, the house would have a houses. basement. It would have like cupboards. It would have like storage places in it. The house so, is probably going to have the blankets. Can I clarify a couple of things? Absolutely. How big, What's is, up? How, how, bag is, how, how big is this amorphous block? Um, it managed to slide through the barn doors. So probably can't be, I mean, 10 feet high is probably the highest that door is. So can't be that high. But it's still pulling itself out, so you know. Yeah, it's like guess, a, it, guess at least eight to eight, eight plus meters long at this point. So um, we're talking at least, at least, a, at least a ton, a, at least a ton of mass or something, right? Yeah. Like a yeah yes. Yeah. Right. It is, I, it can't, is, I can't net this. I cannot it, net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. So, um, <laughs> that's not going to work. Me out. I'm not. <laughs> I can't solve game. this problem the way I know how to solve a problem. Thus, I am I, done. Good day. The only way I know how to solve <laughs> things is to stab and throw nets at them. So, um, <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to try and plinky clanky. I, I, I think the only way around this, wealthy. folks, is that we have to sneak. Oh, yeah. I ain't okay. going near that shit. I'm just going to creep around it. And... Who's the fastest runner? I'm a stealthy. Probably uh, Sterling, athlete. judging by what you're seeing. Yeah. <laughs> can one of us run after Sterling? Can we try and get Sterling back on? Yeah, Coast yeah. I, you could try it, but he's fucking bucking it, mate. You can I? You jackass. Yeah, but he's got he's got an M two forty nine, right? That's got a yes, he does. He's got a he's right. got a no bullshit saw. Yeah. Can I go sprinting after him and try Absolutely. and net him? with a net? Yeah, burn ration. You can burn extra right. charges to buff your roll, Jim. Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, knowing how I've been ro rolling, I'm gonna burn. Yeah, you, you run, run, run all of the charges. How absolutely useless my net is gonna be for this campaign. I'm gonna, for at least this monster, I'm gonna burn like four charges on this shit. Four charges. I'm gonna okay. fucking catch you, Phil. All you right, so that's a plus three. That's a plus three to your <laughs> athletics, Jim. Go for it, buddy. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna crit fail and kill myself. Please don't. <laughs> don't do it. Yes, that. I got it. Yes, I got it. Okay. Uh, right. You lied out after Sterling. Uh, you are. You are. I will say you are in net range. 
Okay. We've gotten into net range. Uh, Abyss Walker, Mr. Fista, what are you two doing as you watch Snag just light out after after your fearless leader? I'd like to turn to Abyss Walker and just say, so blankets, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Or we run away. Are we running with the two chickens, or are we going and being? Are we going to get our money? No, I'm going. I'm going after Sterling. <laughs> he doesn't. Know are you that. shouting? That's not what running. That's not like, are you shouting like that over us. your shoulder at I, them? I'm running after him like lassoing my fucking neck, dude. Like, what do you think I'm doing? You think I'm doing that for a speed boost, like a fella? No, I'm going to go catch him. <laughs> He doesn't I realize that I mental, break, look, mental breaks aren't enough to give you a sick day in this world. All right, you have a mental break, you have you have a little cuddle with the net, and then you get back up on your. Uh, off your <laughs> Anyways, you lot, yeah. what are you two doing? Let's go. <laughs> enough memes. Um, Mr. Fister, we like need to... to get into the house. We yeah, I'd like to start towards the house. All right. Yes. Are you both going towards the same, same house, or are you dividing? Yes, yeah, so we're staying the fuck together. All right, yeah, stealth but... checks, please. It doesn't feel like an amazing plan, but it's it. Come on, please. Stealthy, stealthy, stealthy boy. Isn't George wearing chainmail? George, you wearing chainmail? I'm a, I'm a stealthy chainmail. That's a solid oh. as fuck roll. Yeah, boy. Hey, Walker. Does that mean that's I a failed. pass? That's a pass, yeah. I failed. <laughs> All right. Failure. It's worse than that. Well it. Please Although, well Although, it. yeah, yeah, I will it. I've got two. I've got two in will, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna will it. See, George you, learned his you... lessons from you guys' last camp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Five casualties are attacking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you two, you that. two make it to the house. Um, let's see here. Gray. Yes. Do you want to take your fate in your own hands? Or you want me to roll for you? Roll for me. I don't know okay. what the first boss means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll it yourself. All right, then. You guys enter the house. Um, oh, God, what did that mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've taken the middle house. It looks like the largest of them. So you're assuming the fanciest, yes? I would assume. I would, I, yeah. I would say. Yes. All right. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to just magpie. That means it's all wrong. <laughs> always. Always, Adam. Uh, so, Snag, go ahead and give me your uh, net check to try and bring down Sterling. <laughs> you're going to bring right, him down. <laughs> Come to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, failed. Fuck. <laughs> All right. He's still going. <laughs> still going. Uh, can I keep up? Can I go keep running? Throw the trident. Yeah, throw the trident at him. Oh, I tried to spear him then. Yeah, I still got to spear him. Don't do this. I'll run after him and try and pick up my net. And I'll try Catches him, and him in the medulla up like Gata straight away. Yeah, give me, give me, give me another kill. athletics check to uh, scoop <laughs> your net and keep pace. Burn rations. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Every time you have tried to stop one of my characters in full on flight, you've never done well. You just run too fast. It doesn't matter who you are. You just run too <laughs> fast. You just run too fast. So I fail and I lose another ration. Okay. All right. You do have your net, though. You didn't crit fail, so you got the net. But yeah, you're, Sterling's gaining on you. I'm, uh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, all right. Abyss Walker, Fister. You've been in a house. The lights are on. I would like to carefully walk around and have a little gander and see if there's any obvious blankets anywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that sounded like three different roles to me. Are you wanting yes. to stealth, awareness, <laughs> or scavenge? Uh, I'm going to go awareness because my, okay. I've got no scavenging. So All I'll right. go awareness. I feel like... Fester's now just playing phasmophobia <laughs> within red pockets. <laughs> 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 All right, give me a awareness check. Let's go. Uh, awareness, awareness, awareness is one. Uh, that's a nine to six. All right. Um, you are not seeing. I, I, you're, you know, you're quickly shuffling cupboards and stuff. You're not finding blankets in anywhere that seems obvious to you. Um, but you do notice uh, as you're moving around that the clock, like like the electronic light on the oven is on. There's a refrigerator. You open it. The light comes on. It's cold inside. 
So either there's just power or there's people who live here. Mm. I relay this information to Abyss Walker. What are you doing, mm. Abyss Walker? Mm. Something tells me the residents of this house have just been absorbed. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Is there a basement that I can check out? Uh, awareness, see if you can find a basement. I pass. Big roll. Big roll. Find a basement. Are you going into it? Oh no! I don't trust Gunslinger at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Adam, I'm pretty sure it's a safe bet that the horse blankets are in the basement. There's no other place that you keep. Them. I'm going into the basement. All right, you go I into the basement. Go well. <laughs> go into the basement. My sword is drawn, by the way. <laughs> all right, great. Uh, so, snag. This is going to be uh, the last chance to get Sterling down in a decent position before I hand it back over to Phil, but he's well out of range to help. <laughs> so uh, give me that athletics check. Let's see if you can catch him. Burn oh, rations. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I win, but only because the red die was a one. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, so go ahead and give me a spear chuck. Or not a spear chuck, a net chuck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to impale him through the yeah. belly. <laughs> no, go don't don't that. do that. All right, let's get in that. Yeah, arm. please don't kill him. <laughs> oh, a crit success. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> you bring him down, and, and not only have you brought him down, but he, like, it immediately snaps him to his senses. Uh, and Another you've done so face. quietly, <laughs> which is very crucial as you as you catch up to him as he's rolling around like, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, I blacked out a bit there. Sorry, what happened, sorry, right? sorry, sorry, lads. <laughs> yeah, keep, yeah I... keep, keep a hold of yourself, man, or I'll net you net, net you again. Uh, snag, oh, is, uh, you uh, glance over your shoulder you... and notice that that the aberrant has moved into the center of the pasture, and it appears to be milling about. Oof. But it is not it about. <laughs> it's, it is not orienting towards you, though. With your crit success, you you managed to do this quiet. No, right, Sterling, we've got to bring yeah. it. Quiet, mate. All right, keep on the down low, not get noticed by this massive thing. Also, does it have eyes? I mean, there are horse heads all over the place. Uh. You could assume that it's using them, but yeah, because it was well, that's terrible. Or... <laughs> also, it's, a horrible uh, it's an aberrant. What do you want, Greg? I don't care if it's <laughs> Satan himself. I can still comment that it's frightening. Honestly, I think I'd rather fight Satan in this game than yeah, so the aberrants are horrendous. The aberrants are just fucking horrendous. I heard a little knock on the door. I don't know, also man. With, your, with, with the way your charisma rolls have gone in the past, like I don't know how, <laughs> how you do in a duel with the devil. <laughs> uh, Sterling, yeah. You're back in control. You're way the fuck out of the way. The other two lads, no clue where they are, and you still got a massive monster just kind of hovering, or, well, just kind of, you know, waiting, it seems, lurking out in the middle of the paddock. Where do you want to do? Gone. Sorry, I'm still a bit stressed from seeing this horrendous. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> it is quite Bob. stressful. Flesh and you know, still alive horses, horses. potentially human in there. Not you hear, you hear the there. stories, don't you? But you never think they're true. Like that, this doesn't make any fucking sense. <sighs> yeah, they've gone off to try and search. I think they went to the house. Are you sure that the thing didn't kill them all? No, I mean the thing's oh, been okay. out here. I think I don't think it's moving. Oh, okay, it's that's good. okay, that's that's fine. Um, we need to lead it somewhere? Yeah, you go lead it somewhere, and I'll go look at more bars. Okay, that sounds like a plan. That sounds good. All right, that's your plan. Oh, wow, you're great. actually going to do love that. It. Okay, I great. I love it. All right. So, um, all right. So we have split the party three ways. This is an amazing start to this Red Markets campaign. I love it. Um, actually, it might technically be four ways. Ronnie Fista, <laughs> following Abyss Walker into the basement. Uh no, I'm leave gonna wait man. for this. Dude, oh, dude, <laughs> <man>. Why? <laughs> Why? So where are you? Are, so how are you waiting upstairs, George? Are you going to continue searching? Are you moving on to the next house? What are you doing? Um, I I might move on to the next house. Um, okay. how? Um, uh, are you telling me you're doing this? Yeah. So uh, can I just like tell a bit without shouting at him? Like, can I just communicate that I'm going to the I'm next house? I'm in the basement, I'm just... and you're He's not in the basement, basement, and you're on the floor. Can you try boss? to think of some way of telling me, without <laughs> Ubix specs, that you're going somewhere? The man raises uh, a valid point. He does. You're yes. going to have to call down to him, unless you want to, like, 
chuck a paper airplane note like you're in fucking <laughs> secondary school or something. Do that. Um, do that. Uh, noticing that he's not there, I go down to check to make sure he's still alive. Okay. Aww, uh, that's nice of you. Uh, Abyss Walker, you enter the basement. Are the lights on? Yes, they are. Good. That's very it is, important. To in me. fact, it is well lit. Too well lit. Like... Like as if someone's just been down here mending their car. I well, I, I was something. thinking more like walking into a mending hospital. Car. You know? you know I don't know. I, I, a garage <laughs> basement went in my head. Leave me alone. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah, no. There's there's lights everywhere. There's no sneaking around this place whatsoever. And you're saying uh, it's very. It's almost like clinical. It's very yeah. Hospital esque. Yes, very hospital esque. You hear you hear the humming of generators there? running. Right, this I oh god, can I roll awareness to like see Absolutely. if there's any like beds or anything or like yes. tools that you cutting people open with? How large is the basement? Is it like a is it like a kind of what is my equal square footage of the house? So pretty decent. Like what is my awareness? I rolled a okay. one two. Okay, it's not what enough. Is what is your awareness? <laughs> one. So it's what a two two. All right. Yes. Yeah, so uh, uh, yeah. What an uh, abysmal roll. <laughs> it, it was an abysmal roll, especially as uh, you did need it to avoid the trap. Uh, six yeah. stun you take to zone two. Oh, something hit you hard. As what what that? smashes your leg. Oh, fuck. That's. What was it? My leg's over halfway gone, man. Yeah. Inside. Well, it's stunned. It's not killing. It's, it's stunned. Not. So, yeah, great. Uh, self control check drama. You just got you just got your legs smashed in by a Fine. by a cricket bat. Fantastic. So that's a failure. My rolling is gone. That'll as soon as trauma. I started insulting Jim, <laughs> that'll be a About trauma. Rolling. Uh, Ronnie buddy. Fista, you hear a whack and a and a squawk of pain from down below. I so go ah! down there. I go down there, ready for a fight. All right, you see uh, a man. Um, fairly. <sighs> so there's this like weird effect where like uh when you hit like emaciated but you're still like overweight. Um, mm -hmm. have you guys have you guys ever seen a person like that before? Like pictures of that? Like um, uh, I saw it a lot in Iraq. Um, but like yeah, like you you don't get good health as far as your your nutritional status. Like so, like you get you get real skinny. Like are you seeing a starving person, but you'll still have like yeah. a, a you know you'll still have like a gut. Yeah, yeah. Well, distended belly tends to indicate like you're starving. And you're right on the point of like death. Like like is that, like, is that what this is? Um, no. yeah, this isn't that. This is like you've got a like a proper fat gut, but like the rest of your body is just gone. You're just twigs. You're like a you're like a real bad stick figure drawing. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Can you picture what I'm describing? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, Ronnie, you see a figure looking like that. Um, with what's left of their hair is white, but there's not much left. And I don't mean like balding. I mean like patchy. Um, yeah. dressed in a lab coat and wielding a cricket bat. Um, has just smashed in Abyss Walker's leg. Um, oh, Professor Frank's in better days. So, so previous characters of mine would have been diplomatic. So, I'm not going to do that and punch him in the face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, remember, you need to burn ration. This is a melee attack, but you can burn additional rations to buff the attack since it is a melee attack. Okay, um, I am. So, what happens if I run out of rations mid round? Uh, well, then you're going to be gassed yeah, until you can make a refresh check to see if you've got a protein bar to wolf down. Okay, so I'm going to burn an extra ration, so I'm going to burn a two. Okay. And I'm going to punch him. All right. So give yourself a plus one to your roll. Let me know if you cool. hit him. So my unarmed... It's, it's unarmed, isn't it? I've got gloves on. Does that count as unarmed? Uh, I, I have... One sec. What Arch. does it say? What do the gloves say for their stats? I can't remember, because I've never actually seen anyone use the gloves, so... So I, I'm not 100% sure what that stat is. Padded gloves, plus one stun to all unarmed attacks, prevents infection tests after unarmed attacks on casualties. Um, I also have... You had it. You, you made them spiked, didn't you, though? I don't think I did on this one. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, so it is an unarmed attack. You are correct. And you get to add a plus one stun damage to your black dice result if you succeed it. So. 
Okay, so I'm going to so, roll so the black plus one uh, if you succeed for damage. I see. So yeah, so unarmed. Then I'm going to roll. Um, luckily, that's a seven to six. Okay. Uh, black is base four. Okay, so uh, so five stun to the to zone six. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you 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 fucking you give him a good one right into nice but nice solid body blow. Um, he gasps. Uh, no, he's wheezing as he kind of like stumbles backwards. Um, and he turns and he runs. Uh, and before you even have a chance to really like process what it is, you hear the slam and the hissing lock of a door, like an airlock door, like you like you hear in like movies. Like it's science fiction or like oh. military movies about subs. Like what the fuck was that? <laughs> cool. Uh, um, yeah. So, snag, stealth check. <laughs> you want to sneak past the creature and get to a barn? I believe. Yes. Yeah. Why am I doing this? I, <laughs> you are a brave man. You are a brave man, Jim. That's what you are. Oh, I actually succeed a roll. Yes. All right. Yeah, last roll. All right. Stuff. So yeah, you you. And you can he again just every so often you just hear that bleating, choking warble from the creature, and just you just just press yourself even deeper into the dirt. Just you can't help but thinking about all the, all the wrongs of your life, and this is this is where you've ended up. Yep, this that makes this sense to you. Yep, this, <laughs> this totally makes sense to you. But you don't hear sloshing. You don't feel the ground uttering under the weight of the creature. Like it's it doesn't see you. It's that or detect you. And before you know it, uh, your hand, as it reaches out, feels galvanized steel as you kind of roll your head to see the side of a barn in front of you. Oh my god, is it the barn that you smashed out of? Yep. Good, I want to yep. look in there. That's good. I want to see what the hell's in there. All right. Can I carefully peek my head around? Absolutely. Give me a awareness check. Oh. <laughs> I don't have much awareness this time. No, I had to lose at some point. I All right. I like it, dude. I... Uh, what you see inside, you you can't see much from the dimness, but what you do see is reflecting the light coming in back at you. You're assuming, like in a liquidy way, not in a steel way. Probably not in an eyes way. Not in an eyes way. Not in an eyes way. <laughs> uh, but definitely in a goopy way. So probably wrong door. Let's check another barn. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to go in there. All right, Sterling. Yep. What is the grand plan to get the creature away from your crew? Right, so I'm out in the field again, aren't I? Uh, you're up on you almost made it up a up a hillside, so you're a good ways away. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna lay let off the saw then. Really? All right. Yeah. Uh, give me a shoot check. Uh, it is automatic, so you can burn charges for damage, or you can burn charges for the hit roll. You can do. Well, both I'm not firing it damage. at it, but just up in the air. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Wait. So, why yeah. not at it? Why not? Why not? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to kill the bloody thing, and it's Mars way. You don't know that. Well, you might as well try. <laughs> If you're going to make noise anyway, you might as well hold it. You've got to make noise. You've got to shoot your gun. Gonna shoot your gun. How far run. away from... How far away am I from this thing? Because I'm quite a distance, I thought, if I'd legged it from the compound. Yeah, you're yeah. a good 800 meters, maybe oh, maybe getting on ooh. close to 1,000 meters away from it. He's past. Yeah, yeah I fucking, am not going to fucking, fucking leg it. Hit it. Yeah, I ran for it. like three rounds. I'm not going to freaking like hit it from here. But then right. Jim uh, area, area target. Yeah, and I didn't come back. I didn't come back. Pull that, Phil. You could definitely hit it with this thing. Okay, but, I'll try and hit but, it then. But like, hitting specifically what you want to hit with it, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. Oh, yeah, don't hit me. There's no one around <laughs> it, so I'll fire at it. Generally, oh, oh. go ahead, give the roll. That is, I think, a success. But let me double check. Don't crit fail. First time, oh, um, crit fail. You're all. Uh, yeah, that's a success. Okay. I uh, yeah. Are you spending any additional charges for damage, or are you just kind of putting a burst in it to see what the fuck it does? Yeah, just putting a burst into it, see okay. what happens. Uh, well, you see a rippling effect, almost like uh, you know stones skipping on water as it hits it. And this time, it's not so much a bleat. Now it's more of a roar that emanates okay. out of it, as best as a horse is able to roar. And uh, yeah, it immediately starts to drag itself across the pasture towards you. Roger that. I, now, I, <laughs> I will now run to the other side of the hill. 
All right. <laughs> okay, uh, can I? What What is my state right now? Uh, in I'm pain the and confused. Yes. Yeah. Right. Am I hearing the gunfire and the roar? Um, the give me an awareness oh, check in a basement. Awareness, I'm yeah. not sure. In a basement, oh, I'm not sure. Let's, that's let's, why I was going to say awareness. I'm awareness. Yeah, I'll give you an awareness check for it. Yeah, that, that, that is a success. Yeah, you definitely heard the chatter uh, that you you come to assume to be. Can I quickly set off the flashbang upon sure. hearing that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right. So Sterling, as you're moving up the hill, uh, a cacophonous like sound like lightning just struck behind you goes off uh a couple hundred meters away from you yeah i will imagine sterling assumed that's whatever walker put down because mm -hmm. he saw him put it down and he had a big chat about what it was so, okay. so i'm just going to keep you climbing the hill screamer flashbangs do yeah, yeah sure go ahead yeah, if you want to. so flashbangs continue going off making alertness checks impossible and drawing casualties faster all right. Well, nope. weirdly enough, um, <laughs> that's by my count two mobs of casualties you all have called in so far. Cool. Uh, the first one is only a single casualty. Um, it is five shambles away from you, Sterling. At the bottom of the hill or at the top of the hill? Um, I'm going to say it was closer to the paddock um, okay. from where it gets up. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get over the other side of the hill, so... Hey, yeah, yeah, I got you. Not just vision. let it get up. Yep, no, thank you. It's one five, it's one five shambles. Uh, the second group is five shambles, or is five is five strong, and it's six shambles away. So, you got okay. plenty of distance between yourself and them if you want to try and make a stealth check and get out away from those things. But, yeah, you now have six casualties that are going to... Okay, let's try and make a stealth check over All the right. hill. Or... That's a big old fail. Okay. Um, I'm going to wheel that. Yeah, You're going to wheel it? All right. Cool. Yep. You do make it over the hill without alerting the casualties to you. Um, cool. As you're Look crawling over, you do notice that the aberrant appears to be orienting towards the detonation site rather than coming from where nice. you were firing from. Yeah. But is it still kind of meandering? Like, you know the way like wood lice walk around and they kind of don't walk straight towards something. They kind of keep, you know, little insects? I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I know I exactly what you mean. It's, like, it's, it's a very specific thing. <laughs> thing. I'm a biologist, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, uh, I'm thinking... Um... Oh, thank you, Battle C. <laughs> hey, Battle C. How you doing, man? I love how you pre-warns it. It's so yeah, I know yeah. that they're on their way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. but yeah, no, it's, um, uh, which, which Dark Souls boss is it that's like dragging itself and it's just like slams the, the ground as dries past you. Not the gaping dragon. There's another one that's like, it, it's, it's like dragging half of its body along the run. Okay. You know what I'm on about? Anyways, that's more what it's like. Like this thing's like, this thing's like coming right at you. The, the giant in the third one. Oh yes. The, the oh. skeleton boy. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. skeleton Forget boy. Forget his name. Yeah. King. King yeah of... The king, the king, uh, yeah. yeah. I can't remember, yeah. but we all know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's what it's doing. Like it's doing this number, Jim. Like it's just dragging itself along with its, you know, okay. with it, it's just creating hands for itself to pull itself along out of out of okay. goop and, and horse bits. High Lord Volnir. That's the that's one. Him. Uh so yeah. Uh so that's what's going on in there. So so yeah, that's yeah. Uh so you've done that, Abyss Walker. Um, so yeah, now what's your plan? Uh and what is the state of the guy? He's disappeared. Just, um, he's gone. Ronnie, did we're you not try stuck and, in there, aren't we? You try and go after him. Um, I did. You follow him? Is is Abyss on the ground? And would I? Oh, sorry, I should be playing. Like, we're playing this, but better. So, yeah. Ronnie, what the hell's happened? Uh, I don't know. I just punched the dude. Yeah, <laughs> I did. You tell me, bro. Like I, I heard hear, roaring I, outside, I, and I heard a, a hissing and a kunk. Like, what, what's happened? I don't know, mate. I heard a yelp and I punched a dude. Where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> but he ran away through some fucking medical door thing. I don't know. Oh, you guys, Are we stuck in here? You guys genuinely find out. playing low intellect characters, man. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't you guys. don't know. Go check the door. I didn't <laughs> ask him have if you he's tried walking the door? behind him. Have no. You tried the door. You no, realize I'm... <laughs> Can you go and check the door? My leg is fucked. You can still walk, you little bitch. It's I go <laughs> My walking is much slower than yours. <laughs> Try it's the only, fucking door, or I will throw this sword at your face. <laughs> I, I go and fucking check the door. 
Are you checking? Uh, so are you checking the door you guys at the top of the stairwell that you guys came in from? Or are you going to go find the door you heard the dude go out of? Um, I'm going to go for the one the dude left through. Okay. Yeah, you find a bank vault door, like, hastily, crudely put into the the the, the cinder of the basement's, like, of the foundation in the basement's flooring. Okay, um, I, I don't mask. I turn, uh, I turn to Abyss <laughs> and go, uh, I think it's locked. I just shrug mm. at him. I came in to save his ass and he just bickers with me about not checking doors. How big is this room, Slinger? Oh, maybe 900,000 square feet. Um, 900,000 square feet? I said 902. Oh, right. I was about to say, what the fuck? (laughs) Just find a (laughs) hang-up. So, oh, it's a decent size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's It's about the square footage of the house itself. Right. I want to throw a high, high explosive grenade at the bank vault door and blow it open. Amazing. Go. Can Go you roll me first and I can like run away? No, I'm gonna, no <laughs> I, I will last. Be... So I'll roll me. Um, burn, burn a ration, burn a charge, throw the grenade. As I just sit there like throwing it up and down and catching, being like, do you trust me? No. <laughs> right. well, do you... Yeah, so if you don't trust me, two hours ago. the best thing to do is to get into cover, yes? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I'm or- right. I see right. an explosive in your hand. I'll, I'll, I'll follow you. We'll, 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 we'll back away, but like, give me yeah, a yeah. second here. Yeah, put it down. Eat some, but I'm just going to eat something before I throw this. Um, you wait, probably what are you eat eating? <laughs> Ration burnt. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> you don't actually have to eat something to do the ration. And I assume it's an athletics. To throw. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> weirdly <laughs> enough. <laughs> Critical success! Oh, thank fuck. I, I, don't know if I believe you. <laughs> I swear to, I swear to God, I, I have it's two sixes. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Alright. I am a titanic human being. <laughs> you throw the frag. It hits the it hits the steel door, bounces to the ground. A click a, a quick snapping like a lightning strike goes off. Um uh, you would, Ronnie, poke your heads back over the table to see the door unmoved. Mm. Unsurprised. It's a and fucking black hole. You are aware it's in a, it, this is a high explosive. <laughs> Shut up. It's, this, 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 <laughs> it's a grenade. It's a fucking grenade. <laughs> grenade. Uh, it's not C4. The, 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 the shoddily cemented, you know, plastering or, or to hold the vault door is starts to crumble and shake. And then slowly, the vault door rips itself free of the wall it was so <laughs> pathetically placed into, and clatters uh, like a dinner, like like a platter on the floor as it slowly, you know, whop 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 whop, and then settles. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I know you want to. Uh... You need to sign me down a bank vault door with a grenade. With a single high explosive grenade. You have to admit, you've only known me for what, an hour now? You're impressed. Oh. <laughs> it's a snack. Come on. Don't I'm disappointed. I, I will I, stab I, you. I, I <laughs> there you go. As I snag. Just... Uh, towards you're, the you're, you're maneuvering around the barns, trying to move to the other one. Would you hear the flashbang detonate behind you? You turn to look back to see several mobs of casualties coming up out of you know shrubbery and you know rising up the ground out of torpor and moving up the hill as well as the beast you know holly ass you don't see sterling at all uh and then you hear a muffled barely discernible a second detonation come from under your feet Uh, oh oh, fuck (laughs) what the fuck's going on I wish I had UV specs so I could ask. <laughs> and I wish still on I'm not even going to comment anymore. Right. So, does does Sterling hear this explosion? No, you're way not from too that far, far away. away. You're no. way too far away to hear that. There's shit, enough man. zombies groaning and that morphous blob going to the outside. Ignorance is blessing. Yes, we do that. So snag, uh, what do you want to do? Like, you know, the monster's gone. You do, you can you can pick up your pace a little bit if you want to move. Yeah, I think I just want to go faster. I just want to go okay. look at the other barns. I, I, I hear all these explosions and I'm like, no, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's got new people. I'm not interested in anything beyond that. All right, Jim. Uh, <laughs> odd or even for which barn you're going into next? 
Uh, we're gonna go odd. All right. Uh, you move into Why the next part. Happy? Why do you huh? look happy with odd? <laughs> Because I rolled to see which barn you're going into, whether, whether it was the odd or the even one. Uh, so yeah, you you move into you move into the barn. Uh, there are no lights on in here, but there are enough windows you can kind of see around. Nothing shimmers at you. Um, can I can I roll on awareness? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna just roll awareness. I want to have a proper look around. I want to get the yeah, yeah, definitely the place. Yeah. Oh, and I succeed. Yes. Uh. You actually find most of this barn is is only about half of it are actual stalls. The other half appear to be storage sheds or lockers oh. of some type. Oh my god! Can I have a look around? I want to have a look around inside. Scavenge. Let's give this to a scavenge. I've got plus one to scavenge, but I've succeeded one roll recently. So you, you have <laughs> no. You oh, I got this really well. I got nine over two. Nicely done. Uh, you open up and you find. I mean, they they appear to be you know they're multicolored. Uh, Cordura, or you're, you're not really sure about the material, but if you had to guess as you yeah, lift one up, it appears to be a rough size and shape of a blanket or something you would lay on a horse. Holy and there shit. are tons Success. of them. Yeah, tons oh. of them. Um, do they weigh a lot? How much do they weigh collectively? Uh, to succeed your mission, you guys need to be able to carry away like six haul worth of these things. Okay. I can so, carry three by myself. Well, I guess, are, I guess I'm just going to leave. I'm going to Take three with me now. Okay, cool. I and mean, then I think uh, I'm just gonna have to go back to the group. Right. Well, well, you need to get a hold of the group, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Sterling. Yeah. Uh, the beast is still coming as our casualties. You've managed to evade them so far. What are you doing? But what, you, what is the plan now? You're, you're still out, basically uh, open, open horse country. You know, <laughs> rolling British hillways. Like, where? What are you gonna do? Where are you going? Uh, I've got to like go on a jaunt. I've got to go round. Okay, you're going around. Cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and uh, bird a ration. Give me an athletics check to uh, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're just gonna circle around, try to get back to the barn. I'll let you take another run. You've already proven to be quite a speedy boy. I'm indeed. Uh, and I think I might have. Uh, that, is a fail. that is a fail. Okay. All right. Well, you're a bit tuckered out, so you're not going to rejoin the group this next round. Roger that. Biswalker, Fister. Um, so there's now a vault door sitting on the ground. And a uh, tunnel ahead of you. And a tunnel? Going down the tunnel, obviously. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Absolutely 100%. going down this tunnel. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth checks are not an option. There are lights strung all along it. It is uh, still bright as fuck. Bright. So, yeah. Stealth ain't really the, the name of the game here That's today, cool. gentlemen. Yeah. Um, You come out the other side uh, into the other tunnel to find... Uh, is it a butcher shop? A laboratory? All the above? Take your pick? Nothing in between? You see beakers, uh, you know, uh, cooking vats, uh, multiple uh, multiple microscopes, uh, a massive, massive uh, server hub, uh, and you see several computers stretched out at, you know, if you follow the line, stretched out all on the points. But there are slabs of meat hung everywhere. Uh, massive, you know, massive, like they're not even like, at this point, they're not even beakers anymore. They're basically glass pillars uh, scoured and, and, and you know, slathered with blight in them. One or two of them are still full of blight juice, for lack of a better word. Uh, can I, I take a self-control right. for a will slinger? Because this is breaking me at this point. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> I think that's perfectly fair. Ronnie, how are you feeling about all this stuff? Pass, you, you sorting it out, or is this just a whole bunch of nonsense to you? Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit going over my head. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's, it's science, you know. Maybe they're doing good things, oh, but then again, you know, there's, you know, <laughs> there's meaty people outside and meaty horsey people outside and stuff. So, I'm, how'd I'm, your self control not... check go there? Greg? I passed, but I'm right. going to be very angry at what I'm seeing. Okay, uh, where does checks, gentlemen? Awareness. I think my awareness is. Ronnie, understand that this is a sign. 
Ah, you yeah, bastard. That's a 9 over 7 base, so I, I passed. Okay. It goes, uh, uh, mine goes to the market. You hear, you hear clicking and tapping of keystrokes being typed very rapidly and haphazardly coming from somewhere. Okay, can I go to it? Sure. Uh, you see, you see the, the, the emaciated, you know, patchy man in the lab coat smashing away at a keyboard. Who are you? He turns around and looks back at you and just says, not your concern. Go on your way or you'll be done for. Who do you represent? <laughs> he, he ignores you and continues to type. <laughs> right. I would like to use intimidation. All right, give me intimidation. Put my check. sword to his throat. All right. That is a pass. Eight over four. Uh, yeah, he he turns around with his hands up. You know, look, I'm just, I'm just trying to save the world, right? We're done for, and I'm just trying to help. Save the world. You have yeah, lots I... of bl- abyss in 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 these cauldrons. You what? You... <laughs> You have pots of abyss everywhere, and you're not telling you're saying that abyss. you're trying to save the yes. What's going on about you now? Blight. The cause of all this nonsense. With the blight, yeah. <laughs> no, f- what a blight? <laughs> yeah, the blight. What are you talking about? Hey, Patsy. Uh, <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hey, guys. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Thank you for coming over, Battle Seas crew. Whatever the f- either way, whatever you call it. Look, you understand wh- that this is the source of evil here, that, and you're saying that you're trying to I, save the world. Well, have lots of it. It's just another organism. You, have you seen what's outside? I I made it. I'm you, trying, you made it. I'm trying to find a way to prepare the world for what comes next. That's all. That's all I'm doing here. We're done by for. making gigantic amorphous blobs of evil. Well, I was hoping <laughs> that perhaps it would take to the equi- the acquired biosphere and then it would move along and thus horses you see listen to me here mate <laughs> a shit one battle see thank you um, <laughs> <laughs> you understand if if this moves along it won't care about us anymore and then we can die in peace we're done for but this will move along if we just let it do so, but we have to help it. It's a little bit daft, this thing, right? So that's what I'm doing here. It's gone a bit bad. A bit? A bit, aye. Have you seen outside? Yeah, I've seen You've it. seen the amount of havoc I've it's seen caused. it every day. Every day you see this, the giant one ton of amorphous blobs of evil. How could I not? I live here. <laughs> <laughs> Got a point. <laughs> Why is there a, a German scientist in the middle? <laughs> Why? <laughs> anyway, back. I, I I can't accept what you what you've created. I just can't. It, it's disgraceful. Look, you. He looks over and notices George. Oi, could you deal with him a bit? Just calm him down. T- take no, I want to deal with you. You're what creating you, a fucking <laughs> monster. I haven't done nothing to you. What why do you did, want? Who sent you here? For one, why did you hit me with a cricket bat? Well, you broke into my house, didn't you? You're creating you a demon. Was, did, we, we, we were walking by, saw an amorphous blob of evil came inside for some shelter. You? you the first thing you do is hit me with a cricket bat. my property. <laughs> <laughs> I, sick, I sick the god dog on you as it were hoping you'd leave it said you broke into my house <laughs> it's so, in, rabbit. so so what are you created... doing on your keyboard what are you typing what is what is this nothing don't worry about it <laughs> convincing can i throw him off his chair he's not in a chair he's standing up can i throw him to the ground Sit sure. in a chair and then throw what him out. What do you hope to accomplish by doing this? I want to, I want to throw him to the ground and like stun him for a bit and then and see what the fuck he's doing on his computer. All right. I mean, that's going to be an unarmed check. Yeah. Yeah, it's knife guy, but it's with zombies. I have three it's, it's unarmed. It's a lot better than D and D knife guy. Right, yeah. Critical success! Oh my god! I am the best. All right. Believe in me. <laughs> you, knock it, it. you knock him the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hands from 
I don't know, the South as well, weirdly enough. <laughs> so what are you doing with the computer? I'm going through it. I want to see what the fuck he's doing. Okay. Do, do you understand? Do you have computer tech? Do you have science? No. Just, Not then, at all. <laughs> how would you like to understand what is happening here, Adam? What check Ronnie, do you, I, do you understand this? This is great. I uh, I look at the computer. I look at Abyss Walker. I look at the computer. I look at Abyss Walker. I say, no, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> it appears I don't know my own strength. Yes. And now we've got the one man who would know what the hell this is. <laughs> seemingly dead in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we should find the others. Yeah, like, yeah. Some, someone, someone, someone. Can, we tie, can we tie him? Do you have anything to tie him up with? I don't want him uh, sleuthing off and causing and and spawning more amorphous blobs on us. I uh, I don't have any rope. It be it would be really useful if we had a net right now. <laughs> Break all of his limbs. <laughs> break his legs. Just break his legs. <laughs> yeah. um, can can, can we look around for any kind of zip ties? Or yeah, scavenge. Kind of... Yeah, scavenge. Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, uh, abyss, I, abyss. That's you. That's you. Yeah, I have uh, with my prosthetic arm. Uh huh. Where are you going with this? <laughs> you can extend it up your own butt. No, no, no. This is Ubix specs, actually. What? No, I have so much scaven- equipment. I've so much equipment. Give me a second. Scavenge the room. Scavenge the room. Right. So I have a, a, a apophenia overlay, which yes. gives plus two to scavenge. I see. Pretty much knife guy. Yeah. Uh, what is my scavenge? Okay, then burn a charge skill? off your Ubix specs and give me the damn scavenge check. <laughs> I ha- what if I don't have a skill in the scavenging? Does the Ubix pack give me the- two? No! You gotta do I it. thought that's what it did! Roll it back. Weirdly enough, it doesn't! Wait, no. is it not? Does it not give you plus two, even if you got zero, if you got the add-on? You got I the thought module. that's what that did! No! Yeah. It. it buffs a roll! You don't have a roll to make! Ronnie, do you, you have any scavenging? No. <laughs> we are so shit! <laughs> We played 25 <laughs> sessions of this fucking game over nearly a year. You all right. still I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Hey, I'm gonna see. So what is it? Skills. I have to get below a two, which is my adaptability. Uh huh. So yeah. On a single dice. dice. Single dice. Yeah. Black dice. I need to roll a one. A two. Two will succeed. Two or one. You have 20 percent sick. I rolled a six. That's not gonna do it. That is a failure. Yeah. You uh, found nothing failure. except for beakers and more tubules of blight and horse carcass. Okay, so there's no zip ties or handcuffs in the lab for some reason. So, can we just go work. find the others? Like, and because this isn't helping, like right. anything. He's, uh, he's unconscious. Can, on the floor. Like, Let's hope mm, he doesn't. I'm really tempted to chop off his legs. <laughs> <laughs> You guys scoffed at me saying break his legs. Now you're like, ah, oh, let's just remove. Uh, Look, uh, this guy. I walk away. The, I walk away. I walk this away. This guy, uh, in my, my, my character's <laughs> opinion, this guy is the antichrist. He's literally spawning blight. I can't deal with this. He's lucky he's alive already. Well, unfortunately, Blem. you didn't take believer, so I'm not going to give you a bonus to your self control check you if you chop believer? off the legs of an unarmed, <laughs> yeah, defenseless old man. <laughs> Weirdly enough, Adam, I'm not going to just let you skate by on that. That's going to cost you. Hey, he was aggressively kicking his legs. Then <laughs> uh, he's sure. unconscious. Can we just leave him alone? I'm I'm just walking away. I'm washing my hands of this weird breaking German's legs and stuff for no for no. Yeah, I'm to break his legs so we can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give me the unarmed check. I, I you have all, you have all. How how much do you, what is the roll you have made out of? I've rolled a base four and two, but I have three and unarmed, so it's seven. Okay, well the black dice is still all that matters for damage. You've done four killing to a leg. <laughs> you didn't even now break I, his leg. Now I'm going to again. roll. Oh, He's weird. unconscious. He wakes up because you are curb stomping his legs, attempting to break them. He wakes up and screams at you. <laughs> Snag, you just hear a scream emanating from somewhere be- out of a grate beneath-, beneath your feet as you're carrying out horse blankets. Please give me a self control check. <laughs> Does it sound like Grace? Does it sound like. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do a self control 
Oh my god. I succeed. Yeah, All right. Uh, well, bad things are happening. Someone's screaming, but yeah, uh, it could be worse, you guess, as you continue to drag yeah. the money out. <laughs> yeah. It's the apocalypse, a bit of screaming, you know, I'm used to that shit. Like bread and butter. Right. So he's now awake, Gray, and he's getting to his feet. <laughs> as you've been trying to break. Punch him in the balls really hard. <laughs> Cold shot. Right, I suppose I could turn this into a torture scene then. Yeah, oh you want to do that? Do you yeah. want to do that? I'll go there with you. Yeah, we're, we're doing this. Okay, Kick, what are you doing? Right, last what, what, fucking warning, old man, or I swear to God, the next thing, next fucking thing goes towards your head and it'll be my blade. Tell me what the fuck you're doing. Oh, intimidation check. Intimidation. <laughs> That'll be a pass. What is it a pass by? It's a base four and two again. Let me get my stats up. Okay. Uh, two, six over two. Well, uh, unfortunately, with his 12 over six, he wins. He hits the button on the, on, he hits the inner key on the keyboard. What and all of a sudden, your ears start ringing again. Like that real high-pitched tone. Except oh, God, he has more of them. He has more of them. Or uh, Starling, as you're making your way around the hill, you can't help but notice the aberrant stop dead in its tracks turn around and start dragging its ass right back towards the barn. Snag, you see me? this too. No, Has it noticed not, me? No, it's not noticing you at all. It, it I need to keep trying to make my way back to the barn okay. as quickly as possible. Where is Robbie when this is I think, happening? I've, I've, I've washed my hands of this stupid fucking situation. I've left. I'm down the tunnel. Uh, that's a success. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I just I, I think I know they've gone to the house, right? I'm pretty sure I knew that they were going to the house. Yeah, so you knew I think they were I'm, going to the house. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna run to the house because I don't want to be here when that thing gets back. Okay, Jim. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a awareness check for you to figure for you to guess. There's three houses, which one was the right one they went into? Because oh, you were a bit busy <laughs> facing spying on. <laughs> oh god, okay, right. I'm gonna do a roll. Let's see. How smart am I? I uh, succeed barely. I'm smart enough. Okay. Uh, you walk into the house just as Ronnie Fister comes up the stairs, shaking his head in disgust. <laughs> what's, hap what's happening? What's I heard screaming. Um, so Abyss is beating up a German guy in the basement. Wait, I don't care about this. Shut up. We gotta get the hell fuck out of here. <laughs> the aberrant is coming back. We need here. blankets. The aberrant is coming back. It's like charging back here. We need to go. Where's Abyss? Can you go tell Abyss? I'm gonna run. Wait, no. No, you, you go get horse blankets. You need to go to the second barn. Shit, how do I describe the second barn? Is there anything I remember? <laughs> the barn? What does it look like? The, the, the closest one to where we started that isn't smashed up, right? Okay, you're going to have to just point, please. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to run with George. With, with don't, Ronnie. don't give me a right. riddle. I've got to run with Ronnie and point out the fucking barn, and then I've got to run back for great. Uh, okay. For, for All day. right. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, Ronnie, you head out to the bar. What's your, what is your hall rating? Uh, how do I find this out? Your strength, your strength is how many hall you can. Carry. Oh, three. Okay, nice. so you, so you, between you and you and Snag, you guys pretty much have the hall you need to succeed more. the mission. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. more, right? There's more though. I mean, yeah, there is more, but like. Are you wanting to try and negotiate for a higher price when you get back by bringing more? Is that what you're? Yeah, doing? I, I want. I want. All right. So, do I see the other two now that I'm coming back in? Absolutely. Yeah, you see. Yeah. You see Ronnie, Ronnie heading into a barn. Um, we got. But again, guys. you are far away, right? Isn't isn't isn't, isn't Sterling quite too far away to be talking? No, to no, him? no. He made his check. He's 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 yeah, he's, he's kind of coming up as as Ronnie. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's We've coming all around the barn. Guys. Yeah, coming back. I'm getting some blankets. Yeah. Oh, you found them. Good job, guys. Uh, yeah, they're apparently they're over here. <laughs> you have the regulations cool. like a four-year-old. <laughs> like, right. Hey, Ronnie, Ralph, you you... Intel. I'm getting blankets. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ralph. No, sorry, Ronnie. Um... Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the blanket. Fuck's Everybody sake. get your shit. Sure. Let's get the fuck out of it because that thing is coming back and it's going to oh. destroy us if we don't get our asses out of it. Yeah, sure. Um, right. So Where's we're gonna... Walker. That's a hey. great cutoff point as we cut back to Stag as he moves down the stairs and finds the blown open vault door. Um... Oh, God. Can I start shouting at this point? Uh, and hope yeah. That Walker yeah. can hear me so I have to sprint the whole way. Sure, yeah. D uh, Walker. Walker, we need to go now. <laughs> 
that be your cue there, Gray? I'm too transfixed on the German man. I can't hear him. Well, <laughs> so He's going to have to come all the way down to get my attention. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if I've got the morals to go all the way down. I don't know how far. That, how far away was that amorphous blob? Do I just leave? You? I mean, you're you are underground. You know. In the house, you're you were you're you're a good hundred yards or so away from away from where the creature was heading. Like which you're was heading back, back to okay, its farm. Okay, all right. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna have to run down this this creepy ass tunnel. I mean, it's not that creepy. It's actually extremely well lit. Well it's almost lit. blinding oh, as you okay, run cool. down, it. Run down but you farm. emerge into the the hell room, the the, the pseudo laboratory um, butcher butcher yard. Um, oh, this place is grim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't um, like this place. Ah. Is it reminding you of anything there, Snag? <laughs> no. What <laughs> <laughs> you're on about? Uh, I've never had an experience. You see Abyss Walker uh, across across the way from you, uh, standing with his sword held towards. You can't quite see what he's holding his sword on, but he's standing there holding his sword on something. The, the, uh, Abyss, we need to go. We need to go, Walker, please, because the 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 the, 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 the aberrant's coming back. It's coming back. It, it changed. What do you mean it's coming? I mean, it's coming. It's coming. Just, you, you hear that? that uh, you hear the sound of of uh, electronic uh, of electronic motors start spooling up, and above you, the ceiling what? starts to retract. Oh my god! No. What? Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna run back up the way I came. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of here. See you later. I don't even say anything to Abyss. So I just run. Bye bye. Uh, so yeah. On to you, Abyss. What are you, what are you doing? Can I also run, but yeet a grenade behind me? Why? What end? What, what, where are you throwing this to, grenade? To detonate whatever, wherever the fuck that thing's going to fall down on. Okay, sure. Go for it. <laughs> the are you also throw. Gonna, aren't you also going to murder the German dude? Yeah, yeah right. but fuck it. Burn I think right. Walker's just trying to He's burn the freaking lab down, pretty much. This place is awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, anyway, it's, yeah, it's uh, completely uh, yeah. awful. Um, is this a high? Is this a high? Another high explosive, or is this an incendiary this time, Adam? We're going with incendiary, oh, Slinger. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, so that's a ration burned, and we're okay. going for athletics. Yes. Yes. That is a pass. Okay. Seven uh, over three. All right. So you throw your incendiary burn grenade. grenade. Burn another ration. I need an athletics check to get out of there. Well, I hope you crit fail and you end up falling and getting, getting burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah, did, did, did you Adam, actually just happened? do this, Adam? Have you done Adam, this? What just happened? Yeah, Adam. What just happened? FYI, you have a will. No, he doesn't. He spent no, 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 He got one back. From now on, he went. <laughs> don't say these words at such critical times because I just rolled two fives and I will never forgive you for this. Did you say critical? Yes. Yeah. It's not going to be critical anymore because I'm going to spend a will, but I've still failed. Yes, you have still yep. failed, so you mm. do not get out of the room. Uh, so, uh, back to up top, Sterling and Ronnie. Uh, Sterling, are you grabbing horse blankets? I am grabbing horse blankets, correct. That's very right. good, uh, how, much, how much haul do you, you need? You need my haul. your haul rating? Yeah. It's my strength, isn't it? It is. Uh, two. All I right. Two. So you guys are up to eight haul worth of these horse blankets. So you are... You are did I not need to... Did I not need to do anything to get the blankets, or is it just because Jim's told us? No, Jim told you where they were. You just walk in and see the the door open, the the locker where he found them. Yeah, Jim did all the hard work to find that that, find that shit. You guys just walk in and grab it, basically. Um, You hear another bleating shriek from the creature, and then the sound of like rending steel uh, coming from the the bad barn. Um, Bad barn is the bad barn. Yeah, uh, Snag, you also hear that rending steel, and as you look back down the tunnel, you see gray or black goop starting to drizzle into the lab behind you. Uh, uh, I'm going to scream back down at, uh, at Walker and say, there's goop coming in, and I'm just going to keep running. I, I, I can I- see it! <laughs> right. Uh, well, so, Adam, you get to fight the aberrant as the first bits of it drizzle in right next to you. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Oh, it's no. uh you know black sinews. Um actually no, this is what my character would fucking want. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna uh, die. 
It's, it's black sinews overlaid with uh, almost like a black gelatin with, uh, again, a, a horse. Uh, like the first the, the first really identifiable thing you see is a horse head kind of law over its eyes wide, its ears laid back and twitching as it as it screams at you, basically. Right. <laughs> uh, is that a self-control check already or... <laughs> It very much if, if is. any of you haven't heard a horse scream, just check it's, it on YouTube. It is yeah, fucking it is horrendous. It's really bad. It's really horrendous. bad. It's really or bad. play Hunt Showdown. <laughs> Who's that? I don't, think, I don't think that does it justice, though. <laughs> right. I uh, show my self control. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, that'll be another stress. <laughs> That's me cracked. All right. Oh, fight, fight or freeze. First session. First session. Fight, oh, please. No. All right. No, uh, flight. I will get out of there. You're no, 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 don't give him a chance. He, he already okay. said fight. He's very confident. <laughs> He's not <laughs> trying to kill me. All right. Like the link. Uh, cool. That gives me an opportunity to attack as you sprint past it. You didn't critical succeed, Slinger. You didn't do it, did you? Critical failure. Ooh, <laughs> nice, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Craig was like, oh no. This is bad. Relief. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, again, that rending, screaming metal you heard, Gray, it gives way to just cacophony as the entire, well, floor of the barn, the roof of this ad hoc, you know, batshit mad scientist lab, just caves under the sheer weight of the monster. And it just falls in. <laughs> but not enough time. It doesn't really have a lot of time to whip out and latch at you. So off you go. <laughs> fucking run. Oh, fucking jammy. Jesus Christ. We're getting the fuck out of here. All right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, go time. Adam, why have you broken already? <laughs> <laughs> Adam, He's gone. control yourself. Uh so yeah, snag. You're, George, you're making, why? You're making your way up when all of a sudden something just something just absolutely bowls you over as a Biss Walker just flies past you uh, <laughs> and, and heads up the stairs two at a time. Uh, Sterling and Fisser, you all lot are standing outside with your with your uh, with your bundles of, of horse blankets when the barn just starts to go like it just like a massive sinkhole is opened up in the ground and the whole thing just starts to go in on itself like you can't uh, run away from that fucking shit for how, <laughs> for how terrifying and like nonsensical this whole thing seemed to be like you know like a really bad episode of doctor who yeah no this was so ad hoc it wasn't even funny and yeah the the, the house of cards yeah. is just caving in on this yeah, on this nonsense of an experiment um <laughs> so yeah you all just kind of watch this happening in front of that shit's all on fire as well right or what happened with the incendiary well we'll get there uh, oh. <laughs> don't worry about that. Wait, there's more. Uh, all of a sudden, you hear the bang of a door being slammed open, and you just see a biswalker just hauling ass out into the field past you all. Yep. Uh, can I follow? You? Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go yeah, for a run. Just, can we all just <laughs> the fuck out of here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you still have six casualties to worry about out in that field, though. That a biswalker is heading right towards. Okay, I'm going to unload on them. Okay. Oh, Shoot check. I'll shoot check. Just don't hit Abyss. That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore my Not a crit fail? <laughs> nope, just standard. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, you let off a burst. Uh, Miss. <laughs> eight casualties appear from around the third barn. Uh, yeah. They are cool. four shots away. Guns make noise. <laughs> I'm lots of it. Can we just run around these zombies? Uh, I need athletic checks if you wanna if you wanna try and run oh, around. Yeah, them. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burn rations. How are you guys doing on rations? You guys have been burning rations like it's. I'm down to. I'm... Five. I think I've got. <laughs> okay. I've got uh, three left after this. Okay, cool. Can yeah, you burn? Is it, is it manpower yeah, for athletics? Can you burn extra rations? Yep, you can burn extra rations. Yeah, I'm just gonna burn one extra ration. And I'm okay, so give, give yourself a plus one to your check. I have passed my athletics. You're not taking one. You're fucking. You're still under my You're control. Gone. You cracked. I'm still under your control. I, I, I got you. I oh, got yeah, I you. I did right crack. Now. I passed. I did now. crack. I got I'm you right now, there. Gray. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I shall just. Yep. I shall just. I'm relax. out of there. You're out of there. Yeah, I'm out of there. George. Um, I'm gonna burn an extra one just okay. to be safe, yeah. and that gives me a like what plus three, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
in total. And it is more than enough. That's uh, an cool. eight over two. How about you, Spygon? Well, we didn't Pass, redeem our strength time. Three. All right, stand <laughs> past. I did. All right, so you all kind of like we leave. looking we and jabbing leave through the casualties. Uh, uh, Abyss Walker, you're heading right into him. I need, <laughs> I need a charisma check, Adam, from you. Yeah, Katie, I've done terribly. <laughs> you need a watch We've check. We've all done terribly. You ran into an aberrant, Katie. It's been horrific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I need to do is add stars. your add your add your charisma skill um, <laughs> or sensitivity if you have sensitivity. Try and try and get yourself back under control here. I have charisma. Cool. Give me the roll. And am I what I'm. Am I just rolling one single die? No, no, no. Yeah, this is this is a normal check. You, you get roll. to add your charisma. You get to add your charisma rating to it. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Why charisma? Critical success. What the fuck's happening here? All Say right. It. You you come to uh, just in time to do to perform a gorgeous pirouette with your sword and take all six casualties in in <gasps> one massive go. swing. Yeah. Nicely done. All right. You lot have done it. You've you've made it. Um, Jog off into the sunset. Hi, it is a drive off. <laughs> drive off. You lot are walking, walking. your happy asses home. Yeah. Um, we got no transport. And it is one hell of a walk. As you all, I mean, is can you all even talk about what you just what you just saw? On I don't want to. Hear. I'm very <laughs> proud of myself. Just just randomly, uh, Sterling's like, "Good job, boys. Good job." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. We, we we couldn't have done it without your without your glorious leadership skills, mate. <laughs> good job, good job, yeah, guys, good job. All right, um, <laughs> um, Abyss. What happened to the German? Um, we don't need to worry about him anymore. Okay, self control, okay. check, Ronnie, <laughs> and everybody else except for except for Abyss. You all just assumed that your teammate just murdered an armed armed man. <laughs> I already knew, right? It was, didn't I hit the explosion? I oh yeah, no, Snag, you, uh, you're I think fine. that is a fail for me. Okay, that's a detachment. Uh, control. Uh, crit success. Um, you Nothing are... Nothing affects me. It, yeah, no, <laughs> honestly, justice. Uh, you can actually, if, if, you've, if you've taken any detachment yes. damage, George, you can heal a detachment with a crit success. I can heal a detachment. Uh, I've, heal only got, I've only got stress. Okay, all right. Well, you're still stressed. Yeah, I'll stay stressed. All right. Well, you all you all arrive back to York, uh, and you move into Hakum to make your delivery. Uh, Steward Muhammad comes out to greet you all himself personally, along with a uh, with a small with a with a small force of um, of uh, of their herdsmen and uh, a couple of other people who look a bit more. <laughs> Murder does not heal They're stress, not unfortunately. I don't know. Uh, that was pretty much his go-to for stress. <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad goes straight to you, Sterling, and uh, embraces you warmly, and uh, bless you, bless you. You've done, you've done such good work. In fact, there's. Have you brought us more? Yes, the, we found um, more. Um, so here, here it is. Here it is. Like, um, what? Well, yeah, it, it, it was a bit, what, what, uh, It was more dangerous than we originally. Um, Thought, but um I just, yeah we got it just, done these, these guys did great and um yeah we got some more blankets it will help obviously. all right so sterling do you want to push for a bigger payout or do you want anything or are you just offering more the money all? more money you want more money okay uh give me give me a persuasion <laughs> check give me a persuasion check though yep success Okay, uh, what kind of what? What is your black dice? Uh, my black dice w would be a. Is it a persuasion? I, I don't care about. I, I want to know what the black okay. dice is. Yeah. It's five. It's a five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he offers you five bounty per additional haul. So, that'd so that's be extra ten extra free, bounty. Oh ten yeah. Two. Nice. Yeah. You brought. You had eight because somebody didn't carry their share of the haul because they were too busy being cracked <laughs> and running away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy killing an Aberdeen, that's all I'll say. Did you kill it, though? I don't think it's good. I'm pretty sure you just ran away from it. Do you remember mind, how the last campaign started and then what happened at the end? <laughs> <laughs> we met You're an Aberdeen and then it turned up again. All right. 
So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, gentlemen, uh, that puts you all at 29 bounty. Split between a lot uh, of you. Your break points are all covered. Um, but you are going to have to deal with your uh, with your upkeep individually. So, right. split four ways. Uh, 29 bounty should put you each at getting seven bounty plus one for an MVP. Yes? That math check I, out? I found them. I found the horse blankets. I got most of the horse blankets. Let's go. To be honest, that is... Yeah, uh, Stack was the only one who didn't murder Stack. anyone, so yeah. <laughs> I was the only one who actually did the mission. I just instantly crap. crap. I was so upset. Away. All right. I so. was the one set up the flashbang that got the fucking thing away from Spike on. I, I was, was the one, one doing that. I was already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was the, already leading it away, you lunatic. Because then that just leaves I, me... I, 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 so, I, I fought I hand to hand with an aberrant, and he brought some blankets. Guys, I've got to go. Seriously, uh, going to have uh, this yeah, conversation. I'll, I'll have to figure yep, this out yeah. with you guys the next time. Uh, no, you, you're good, Jim. You got eight bounds. Yeah, so thanks, just, yeah, yeah, do yeah thanks, dude. And... Write it up. Thanks, thanks, love. Yep. See you later. Bye bye. Uh, right, See bye you later, bye. man. Thank you. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's seven bounty for the rest of you lot. Uh, yeah, questions, comments, suggestions, other than everybody hating my terrible voice acting. Like, what you guys <laughs> think for your for your opening for this campaign? Sterling I enjoyed this. Ed, who is this, eyeballs? This, this is was a this was a lovely <laughs> welcome to Red Markets. Welcome, yeah, to welcome. This You've already been into Red Markets. Welcome a return back. to welcome back. <laughs> so, what have seven my, my, my upkeep's dealt with? Do you say? No, your breakpoint is dealt with. Your upkeep is not. You guys did yeah. not. You did meh at negotiations. You guys yeah, were getting full spots. Nine. Yeah, that's so, bad. Yep, it is bad. You're going to have to roll on some some piece of equipment. Oh, yep. shit. Oh, do we do that? When do we do this? We could do it off camera. We can yeah, go yeah. ahead and... Uh, yeah, that'll involve a lot of questions by Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. We can go and ahead and say about the chat. It's not either. Uh, yeah, thank you all for hanging out with us. Battle C, uh, Great Walker TV, thank you for the raids. Um, thank you all for uh, for for the chats going on. Uh, Katie Bot, Hellspawn um knife knife, uh, knife guy for real yeah thank you all for stopping to chat with us rapid thank you for i saw you sleek in there too uh okay. if you guys yeah if you guys like this like i said this is probably going to be the next uh we'll have this going for probably at least 12 weeks maybe maybe a little bit longer depending on how these guys do and if this was any suggestions probably going to be longer these guys are not doing very good so far at making money <laughs> um <laughs> we're a bit rusty <laughs> But yeah, uh, oh yeah, cookie episode too. Yep, yeah, uh, but, episode, man. but yeah, so uh, if you guys like what you see, uh, if you're not already doing so, please give us a follow. Uh, yeah, this is uh, I guess well, this is just where we'll leave you folks, but uh, yeah. like I said, uh, same time next week, we'll pick back up with the crew of Trembling Madness, and uh, you guys will get to see the vignettes, the uh, how they healed their uh, their, their mental damage and get to meet all the dependents, all their, their extended families. I'm sure. I'm sure nobody will choose to do something terrible to their friends here um, with their role playing <laughs> of their dependents. That never yeah. happens with you lot. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, chat. We'll see Thank you guys you very next much, time. Guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.